just comes to go creepy. That's like the face of someone you wouldn't let near a school. How are you all doing? Joe, welcome. Jin Zake. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. He's back, backstage. Be careful with the breaker. <laughs> that damn breaker, Joe, I'm telling you. How are we all doing, chat? I missed you, beautiful bunch. Look at that cool little pingu dude. Ladies. <laughs> I'm going to let this play because I like it. Vibin', vibin'. Er, buddy in the club getting tipsy, Zake. How are we doing? Oh, guys. I've had a big day. I've had a big old day of driving. My eyes hurt. I'm tired, but we jamming, we jamming, chat. Ladies, ugh. <laughs> All right, that's it. I just want to say hello. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. That's me done for the night. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Guys, happy Easter, first of all. If you're having your Easter Sunday, welcome. It's Easter Monday here, uh, public holiday. Rocking the beard, bud. It's a bit scraggly. I'm not going to lie backstage. What do we think, chat? What are, what are the votes on the beard? Should it stay or should it go? It's pretty uh, a poor effort, I would say. Uh, I can't grow facial hair. This is my curse, chat. I'm a, a grown adult. A man-child, if you will. I cannot grow facial hair. Uh, my dad is at a mustache and a thick... He's got like a Ron Swanson thick mustache ever since I was like a baby. Uh, and I just can't do it. I don't know. Maybe he's not my real father. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that postman, though. Um, <laughs> I like it. Thank you. I, like, I just wish it would fill out, you know, fill out more in, like, this area, generally. Waiting for more days gone. It's happening, Joe. I've got it. Let me get it organized. You can, actually, can hear the Agata now. You can actually hear the game now, which is a big fucking bonus. Let me just make sure I can hear my alerts now. Chat, how was your Easter? I am suffering from chocolate coma. I'm not going to lie. Keep it growing a bit further. It will work eventually. That's it. I always try in winter backstage uh, to try and grow a beard, you know, for the warmth. Not that there's any warmth to be had out of it, but, um, you know, it's autumn, so I was like, fuck it, I'll get a head start this year. Um, how was everyone's Easter? First of all, guys, I ate way too much chocolate. Um, even today, I've eaten way too much chocolate and sugary drinks and coffees. I've had, like, two coffees today because I was driving, and, like, I'm a fucking, like, honestly, I'm a shaky fucking mess right now. <laughs> think Aaron looks like bitter with facial hair. Well, guys, yeah, I was gonna say, do you know, what, guys, do you know who I think looks bitter with facial hair? Ladies. Um, that's how I like my ladies bearded. Um, is that weird? No. Uh, <laughs> am I a dwarf secretly in disguise? Perhaps. Um, yeah, I agree. Bearded ladies. That's my shit. Yeah. Look, look. No, no. There's no kink shaming here. First of all, unless it's really fucking weird. But <laughs> bearded ladies, mm, guys, you can't let me near a circus. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, do you know what's fantastic, Zeke? Do you know what's fucking fantastic, guys? Look at that beautiful little bastard right there. Oh my god. I literally uploaded it five minutes ago. Easter was boring, though. I worked all day and work was dead because of Easter. True. But, Jen, you had a little pony. You had a little horse. You look, you look, <coughs> you're a little, little horse there, Jen. You had a pony. That was cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. He looked pretty cool. Little Sebastian. <gasps> oh my. God, little Sebastian came to visit you. He's not dead after all. Spoilers. <laughs> Chat, I hope you had a great, safe, happy Easter. Um, I did. I was at my parents' house. And again, my mother bakes and makes like full five course fucking meals for like our family. And it's like, Jesus Christ. Um, so as soon as I walk in the door, I feel like I gained 100 pounds. Uh, I ate way too much chocolate. Watched way too much TV. I never watched TV because uh, I don't have TV in my house. I stream shit. Uh, so I only ever watch TV when I go down to their house. So me and my dad just watch TV all day. I went to see my brother's new flat. Um, it was good times. I played a little bit of Stardew Valley. That was pretty much my only video game time the whole time. His name was Rowdy. He was a lovely mini snow puff. Oh my god. Rowdy the mini pony. The mini horse. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing chat. Um, yeah. I hope you guys had a great time. I missed you all, first of all. I miss you, beautiful bunch. Do you guys think I remember how to play this game? Because I sure as shit don't. As soon as I stop playing a game for five seconds, I forget all the controls. So, this will go well. Um, but guys, welcome back. I miss you all. I have got some, I feel like, Zake-esque stories, if you want to hear them later. Um, holy fuck. 
Um, sounds like you had a great time. I did. We I drove down Friday morning. Guys, it's a seven hour drive to my parents' house. Let me tell you, they live basically in another fucking country. But um, they live very rurally, so the Wi Fi is dodgy as all hell. There's no cell phone reception, pretty much. You got to go like move around the house slash go outside if you want cell phone reception. It's pretty much off the grid. It's great. It's great. I love it. Um, I you know I don't get to go there very often, so it's nice. What am I doing here now, guys? Here's the thing. I play. I don't play a game for 24 hours. I forget everything fucking about it. They won't let me leave. Check in on Lisa. Oh, that's right. Lisa's the little girl we saved from the bad people, I think. She's the Abby actress, right? <sighs> I swear I gained like 10 pounds. Weekend. I legit could roll around the house now. Honestly, backstage, I feel you. I can honestly nap right now. Because my eyes are sore. Because I think I've been like driving all day. Like I had my sunglasses on. But guys, it was 30 degrees. Hot as fuck. Stuck in the car for 7 hours. It was disgusting. My ear con was blowing cold. Like I had it on the coldest sitting. I swear it was like blowing hot air at me all day. I was disgusted by it. Um, like, it's just been hot. So my eyes are sore. Um, I ate way too much chocolate. I just came home and, like, ordered Uber Eats and ate more chocolate. So now I just feel like a bowling ball. I feel like you could... I feel like Augustus Gloop in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, sounds like the best holiday. Yeah, how was... How, I hope you guys all had a fantastic Easter, though. You know, we celebrate <laughs> Jesus dying by having chocolate and eggs and bunnies. I don't know. Uh, miss you so much, though. When the gene needed him most, he disappeared. I mean, look, Zeke streamed once. That's not fear for Zeke. You know, Zeke, Zeke tries. <laughs> then the Fire Nation attacked. Oh my god. And I understand that reference, but only slightly, sir, because I never watched Legion of the Bang. But, <laughs> but Zeke, we could look. We got, a, we got Zeke's amazing scream. Um, and that those pingus, though. How did that even... I don't even know how... I don't even know how that, like, topic came up. Zag, Zag. Zag is amazing. Let's be. Oh, guys. I missed you all. First of all, um. Yeah. I had a very quiet, relaxing day. Nothing like this, honestly. Again, I took my Switch with me. I played my. I played Stardew Valley for like a little bit, and that's pretty much the only gaming I did all weekend. It was great. You know, sometimes it's nice just to take a step back, right? You know, spend time with the fam, chill. Minimal screen time apart from watching shitload of TV because that's what my dad does. I'm like, alright, I'm down. Um, <laughs> that's all I did. And now I came home, ate copious amounts, and just, you know, have done nothing. It's glorious. Um, and now I get to play with you guys. And now I get to play with you guys. Um, yeah. Sorry because well, I told him he should draw himself with a pingu hat and he wanted to keep drawing, so I asked him to draw us next. Yee. Yeah. That was glorious, though. I think, like, I was surprised he was even on. Because I remember I had to leave to have dinner with my family. It was like an hour and a half later. I can't, I checked my phone. I'm like, oh my god, he's still fucking going. And he's drawing Pingu. I'm like, well, now I'm in. Like, I honestly thought he would, I thought he'd be done, dude. It was like a seven hour fucking stream. That's a solid, solid effort. I can't do that shit yet. I can't do that. Um. <laughs> I can't do that at all. But yeah. And look, guys, I'm a mess tonight, so, you know, bear with me. Also, it's hot as fuck in here because my window's closed. Give me a second. Oh, my God. Hey, do you like my squeaky chair? I remember we were talking about my squeaky chair. Guys, you hear that? Now do you hear it, Zeke? Listen to that awfulness. <sighs> Not as cool as Jen's chair. That's for damn sure. Um, guys, I made this chair myself. Again, it was a kit box chair. I feel like I fucked it up. I feel like it was not that squeaky in the store when I tried the store model. I'm like, hmm, sketchy. I think I fucked it up. Classic squeaks, I hate it. Like, guys, I honestly try to sit so still when I'm streaming because it's squeaky as fuck. I like this chair, it's comfy. But, um, it might get replaced. When I move, it might get replaced. Alright, I'm starting to remember this game now. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Hey, guys, I forgot there were zombies in this game. Whoopsie. Wait, you guys tell me this was a zombie game? Ah, shit. Well, fuck. Look, I thought it was about bikers in, uh, modern day... What's happening back there? Marauders killing freaks, huh? Doing something right for a change. Okay, then. I'm gonna let them have it. Ah, fuck! Okay, now they're shooting me. Alright, time to go. Now they're shooting me. Sorry, chat. 
I got distracted. I'm like, is that a person I can save or not? Turns out, no, they're just assholes. Turns out, they're assholes. Guys, you guys have anything exciting happen over your Easter break? You just meet up with the family, chilling? Well, as always, those games with COVID for 2022. Yeah, guys, you tell me this is not what Oregon is like right now with COVID. I finished Days Gone this weekend. Joe, you finished it? And did you like it? Because you never finished it before, right? Also, no spoilers. But did you enjoy the ending? You know, guys, you know this game is free, uh, apparently, for... If you own a PS4, if you have PlayStation Plus, for April? This is the, like, PS4 game for April. So, fun I, look, I'm not saying I'm a trendsetter, but uh, Sony seems to be copying me. Whenever I play a game... Actually, not gonna lie, I think Zake played RE... No, what did you play? You played Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they made that the game for March, I think. Or, or February? And now, look, we're playing Days Gone, and what does Sony do? I think Sony watches our streams, chat. I'm pretty sure the Sony executive is looking at our streams for fucking games to make available on their... Um, I don't know. What do they call it? PlayStation Plus thing. You work the weekend, feels bad, but Jen, think of the money. Do you get day... Like, do you get extra pay for that? In New Zealand, you do. You get holiday pay if you work during a holiday. You make, like, time and a half. You get cash fucking money. Um, don't spoil, don't worry. Nice. Uh, I had a dinner with my grandma. But that's pretty much it. Hey, look, grandma's time. I don't have grandma, so you know. Jealous. Um, I enjoyed a lot. I like that. That's good, Joe. I hope you had a good dinner. Zake, what did you have for dinner, though? Question. Question, Zake. What did you have for your dinner with your grandma? That's very important, Chan. I had dinner with my auntie, if that counts. She came out, like, and had dinner with us last night. It was cool. I hadn't seen her in a while. Um, no, at other jobs I used to do. Oh, what? They don't give you holiday pay? Feels fucking bad, man feels fucking bad man look i used to like working holidays because again you get time and a half and like a day in lieu and like extra all this extra shit it's great rip time and a half at pet stores turkey and baked potatoes that actually sounds pretty good I'm not gonna lie. I had, we had something very similar these days like we had turkey and like roast vegetables and potato and like sweet potato and stuff like that it was nice how you doing hey kid how you do i don't know Yeah, this is like a shithole camp. Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. So what, we're going to bust her out? They won't let me leave. Is that the mission completed? That's the fucking easiest mission I've ever done. Is that actually the mission completed? You're safe here now. Go, at least remain. Reminds me of serious little system. I'm not letting anything happen to her. Got it. Now what, though? Was that all I had to do? Huh. Guys, I'm so good at this game. I forgot how good I was at this game. Look, three days or however long it was not playing this game, I forgot my own skills. I'm sorry, that'll never happen again. I am... Look, I'm just saying, when the COVID zombies hit, um, I'll be a stern <laughs> but fear ruler. Is that fear? I promise not to go full Mad Max. Only slightly Mad Max, okay? Slightly. Slightly. Maybe 90%, alright? Alright, she has no job for me. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm very capable in a zombie apocalypse. Okay? Oh, so I need to refuel. I am at down like, what? 34%? Damn. That's rough. Do I have any missions left? Active. I sure don't, chat. Well, that's fucking rude. I bet you as soon as I leave the camp, they're going like, hey, bruh, you need to go and, like, do a thing. At a thing. With a thing. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Where do I find fuel? Where would one in a zombie apocalypse find fuel? Hey, what do you need? Fuel, please? How do I get off the bike? There we go. Didn't know I have the hiccups, I don't know why. What's wrong with me? Ooh, What's wrong with me? Thank you. Where are they getting the fuel from? That's my question. Guys, in the zombie apocalypse, like, where are you finding fuel for motorcycles? Are we growing, like, potato vodka fuel? What's happening here? Um, do I just leave? I'm gonna guess I just leave. I have not explored half this map. I mean, uh... Magic? I mean, yeah, true. Magic fuel, the best fuel. I'm just saying, look, I feel like fuel in the zombie apocalypse, pretty scarce. Scarce. I mean, there's that there I kind of want to do, but I know it's a pit full of fucking zombies. 
but I do want that extra upgrade. But And then there's this place, which apparently I drove past, but didn't even realize. I'm going to leave, and I bet you, within two seconds of leaving, they're going to be like, hey, bruh, uh, Boozer's going to call me. That's right, Boozer will be the one. Like, dude, you need to go and, like, do a thing with me, right? I don't know. Well, so this zombie's pissing me off. I want to, like, investigate it. This is a zombie. No, it's a person. It's a... Told you. Boozer. Happy Easter, Boozer. What'd you get me? Chocolate? I already got chocolate, sir. Boozer. Boozer. Yeah, I'll stop by later. Is there another dead guy here? There's, there's a dead guy on my map. So well, now I have to go see Boozer. Boozer the loser wants to see me. Do I, have a, do I even have a weapon anymore? Because I feel like I don't have a weapon anymore. Is that real? I'm not going to lie. I don't have a weapon. <laughs> go Mad Max style. Take off the... Take over an oil refinery I have filled for years if you work for facility. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm going to like get a spring over as well. Backstage badger so I have access to water. Why, where's his mission thing though? Boozer, where's your mission thing? Active. He's not fucking here. Do I need to drive a little more? Yeah, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'd be Mad Max. He's pretty, pretty hard. But look. I'll, tr I'll look after the ones that work well for me. Just saying. Just saying, guys, you work well for me, you get looked after. Oh, I forgot you have to hold it. I forgot you have to hold it. And a max. Alright, cool. I guess I just go see Boozer. Because he called me. You rung? Oh, Boozer, you rung. Is he here? This is Boozer's nice Copeland's camp. Where the fuck's my camp? Is this my camp? O'Leary Mountain Safe House with Boozer, the loser. Is. Guys, I have to tell you a story. Hello, button! Oh my god, what are those cool things? The peace sign, welcome button, welcome, welcome, welcome. Button, good time. Alright guys, you have a choice to make. I watched a show with my parents. Again, I don't watch TV, so right. So this is why I was, I was enthralled by this fucking... What is the thing on my map? I was enthralled by this television show that my mother started watching and I sort of got hooked into it. But there's options here. You have choices. You either have this very short punctual story or you have the very long convoluted zake isk story of the same story but how I can describe it. What would you guys like? Because I thought about it. This, I've watched this on Friday night the night I got down at my parents' house. We watched this. Sh it's like a mini documentary and I was thinking about it the whole time being like I have to tell the, the gang this because it's so fucking like it just blew my mind it was the, how ridiculous it was I was like oh, I, oh there's wolves um I couldn't believe what I was watching I was like what the fuck is this <laughs> so how you doing though button ha happy Easter Saturday Sunday 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 oh there's lots of wolves no wait, there's a deer the long one please all right chat look buckle in first of all um maybe you guys have seen this I don't know if they have the show in the land of the Americans. Um, but this is a British show, right? Buckle up, chat. It's gonna get bumpy. And I'm gonna get f off track many, 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 many times. Alright, doing good, thank you. I'm doing ambush, good, thank you, too. Sniper ambush. Ah! Deke, thank God. You've got to go after him now. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He uh -oh. used to ride with Leon and Alex. Ah! Chat! I'm being hit by a sniper. Oh, I see him, too. Dirty fuck. Saying something. Hold on, Jack. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. Got him. Mother. Oh, Jesus! <gasps> Alright, Jack, this is the thing. This is the thing. That guy has a machete, and I have a little pin knife. He ruined. He interrupted my story. Fuck. Ah, okay. Oh, there's lost of them. I'm dead. I'm dead. Very dead. Hell! I'm dead. Last. Jesus. Um, is there a slurping involved? Unfortunately, no. Be careful. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> It's Roach, you witcher horse. Oh my god. Hey guys, you just... Oh, now I'm back here, motherfucker. Alright, you know what? That's upsetting. Um, <laughs> they hear the name Leon. His name is Kennedy. There is a Leon. Yeah, boozer, I know. Crafted me some items. Right, got it. Booze man. Alright, so I'm going to go to Boozer's house to get... Items apparently, but also now watch for snipers. And I have no weapon, just be quiet. Now I want a Slurpee. Does that go get one, bro? What time is it, guys? Do you know daylight savings happened as well? 
Um, I, it's now only 6.12 p.m. for me on a Monday. I bet you it's a little later than that for you guys. I think we're five hours difference now with Pacific Standard Time. Feels bad, man. Uh, yesterday morning, the clock went back for us here in New Zealand, so we got an extra hours of sleep. 11.12, five hours difference. You hate to fucking see it, Jim. You hate to see it. When's your guys' winter again? When's my summer? Because our daylight saving doesn't happen again until October. Or September. One of the other two. It's one of the two. September or October. It's going to be a long... Five to six months. November for us? Rough. Yeah, we go back, I think, in September. Maybe end... I think it's end of September, beginning of October is when we go... We daylight saving begins again. So that means we'll be four hours again. Then when you guys have your one... Look at back to three hours. This is not the story, by the way. I just got completely sidetracked by, you know, getting killed by crazy people. They kind of distracted me. Um, and now I can't remember my story. Ah, yeah, my story. Chat. Get ready. Um, I've, see, I've already gotten off topic once. I'm, I'm doing you proud, like I hope, anyway. Watch the sniper try and shoot me again. And then maybe that lady call me again. I don't know what her name is. It's 312 for you? Damn, Joe, that's freaking late, sir. I'm gonna drive faster. Maybe that'll help me. Okay, here we go. You've got to go after him now. They're getting away. Who's going away? After who? Tuck, slow down. It's Roach. Roach the horse. I get it now. Gene, I didn't know why you said Roach before. I was like, now I get it. It's Roach. Oh God damn it, Tuck! You shouldn't have. No. Why is Jimmy? The rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere. Damn it, the East Coast. Joe, yeah, that's late. Is late. All right, I'll see if I can track it down. Why are there dead people down here? Scared and concerned. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to... Now where's the one? Ah, it wants me to go up there? Well, I'm going to see Boozer, so screw it. Um, chat, story. I, my, I was half on my phone Friday night, right? Which is your guys' Thursday. Um, basically, I was on my phone half paying attention to what was on TV. My dad had already gone to bed because he goes to bed early. And my mom, she likes watching, like, cooking shows and baking shows because she's a really good baker herself. And there's the show right on. And I, it's, it's like, it was a British show. It's like a mini documentary, like a docu-series. I guess, you know, like you'd see on Netflix or something. And it was an hour long. And basically, it was like a behind-the-scenes of Cadbury's chocolate, which is Cadbury's, guys. Is, eh, Cadbury's is okay chocolate. Um, this is such a good game. Hey, the Dobbs, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. You can just hear my story about Cadbury. It's completely nothing to do about the game. Happy Easter, by the way. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, <laughs> what was I saying again? Cadbury's. Kind of garbage, but you know what? I'll eat it if nothing else. And I have eaten several thousand creamy. Creamy is the only thing I like. Alright, and it is Easter. But basically, this, <laughs> this documentary, this mini documentary series, had like three storylines to it almost. It was like a behind the scenes of Cadbury's. So they must have greenlit it, like they must have allowed it because they're like, yo bro, um, come and film in our factory, talk to our, like, staff, I don't know, do, a, like, do a thing, I don't know, follow us around and we'll show you what's happening. There was three different storylines. <laughs> I can't even fucking pay attention. Whitaker's for the win, exactly, Dubs, are you from the jolly old New Zealand land by any chance? Because Whitaker's is for the win. Cabri's is stick and tear, unfortunately, chat. Hershey's is not even chocolate, I'm sorry. Uh, to all you lovely American friends. But, um, Cadbury's is second tier and Whitaker's for the win, alright? Whitaker's chocolate, amazing. Nigella Lawson loves it and she is honestly, like, amazing. <laughs> Lady. Uh, <laughs> alright, what was I saying again? I can't even play the game and fucking concentrate on my story. Three stories. Um, following Cadbury's employees. Um, across... Different things that were happening. I don't know what it is. Rip got Cadbury though. I mean, look, it's better than her. She's like, you gotta take it. I am from the South Island. Can you tell, Dubs, with my horrible accent? And I feel like it's been thicker because I've been with my parents. Thicker. Guys, I am from the South Island, Dubs. You pick me out. People pick me out. And I'm from the South of the South. Um, story. Thick accent. It is thick. With a TCC. Jen, I live... I mean, I'm home now, right? My my house. This is about seven hours north of my parents' house. And people know where I'm from. Up here. Up here. This is tropical. Where I live. Um, you like Kinder, Joe? I like Kinder, too. But I don't like Nestle. So, you know, I'm kind of torn. I used to love Bueno Bars. Bueno Bars was my shit. But um, I don't like Kinder... I mean, I don't like Nestle. So, I'm like... I, I'm torn. 
But I do like Kinder. I do like like all those brands of chocolate, like Ferrero Rocher, Gimbuena Bar, delicious. But I just don't like. I can't endorse Nestle's. I'm like, god damn it. So, you know, I I try to not have Nestle. It's kind of weird. I have a weird thing. Ah, I, I do need fuel. Um. It was the R's, R's Dirty Purple Work Shirt Chat, I'm a pirate. And you're in Auckland, Dubs! You know, I'm going to be in Auckland for Anzac weekend. That's awesome, I didn't realize you're from New Zealand. Welcome in, Dubs. I, honestly, like, I, I don't know, I can't tell. But us Kiwis got to stick together. So, awesome, thank you for being here, Dubs, I appreciate it. Um, hope you're stream. how is your stream, by the way? How, you're playing this, you're platinum this, correct? Chat, where did I get to in my story? <laughs> the three storylines. So I'm going to be telling this story for the whole three hours, by the way. I won't even get to the end of it. Three mini storylines. And they kind of like clip it, right? So like you get five minutes of this story, and then it cuts to the next story, and then it cuts back to this story, and then it cuts to this story. Right? So it's like, it's very like, you get it in bite-sized pieces. Like Cadbury's. Eat responsibly. I don't know. Look, do what the fuck I want. You're an adult. Um, the first... <laughs> It's all set in the UK, all British. So they have lovely British accents, they do. They do, by gol golly. Um, sounds like an intense documentary. It was fucking... This is the part I'll get to. I am you rated me the other day. Jobs, I do remember you. I remember rating you, actually. You, I rated you the last um, stream we played of this before I went home for Easter. And tell you what, chat, if you haven't already... What the fuck are you doing? Go check out the dubs. And why did I click twice there? You get double clicks. Go check out the dubs. If you haven't already, please do. Um... You like Cadbury too, Joe? Nice. So guys, if you ever come to New Zealand, we'll treat you with Whitakers. Whitakers is top tier shit. Nigella Lawson loves Whitakers. Fun fact, she actually endorses them. And you know what? I endorse Nigella Lawson. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Cadbury documentary. Pretty fucked. Um, one storyline, right? So this is like... <laughs> This is like following this lady. She's like head of marketing and basically her job is like, hey, it's January here in the UK, right? Jolly good. Um, jolly good, governor. And we need to sell cream eggs because the cream egg is only available uh, between January and April and Easter for the uh, UK market. So we got to remind them that they uh, they exist, right? And that's my accent. Um, basically, they're like, they start off with her being like, hey, there's pressure on you, lady. Um, you're ahead of this campaign. You have to come up with a campaign for cream eggs and sell boatloads of them. Um, because you need to beat last year's sales. And she's like, got a governor. I got that sewn up, cheesy willikers. Um, <laughs> you have a chocolate war with the Aussies. They voted Cadbury. Fucking heathens. Ban them all. <sighs> Ban them and their hungry jacks. Heathens. Heathens. They voted Cadbury's. Get out of town. Just because that shit's made in Australia. Look. They closed the New Zealand factory Cadbury's, by the way, chat. That's also why I have a thing for Cadbury's. They bought it over to Australia. And do you want know garbage? Garbage, mate. Garbage. But, um, yeah, all right, anyway. This, look, more important things. The game, not important right now. The Cadbury documentary. That's what I'm discussing. Um, you guys don't need to follow? False. You guys need to go follow the dogs. Do it now. Uh, she's from New Zealand, so, you know, fully endorsed. Um, so, one lady, right? One story is about the lady... Who is who? She's like her job is to come up with a campaign in the UK to sell as many cream eggs between. God damn it, Dobbs! You definitely don't need to be subscribed to me, first of all. But thank you so much. <laughs> Holy shit! Thank you so much for the subaruno, the subby. You don't need to do that. You look. Thank you, no, guys. No one has to give me shit. All right, I'm trying to tell a Cadbury story. <laughs> it's only been thirty minutes. And I haven't done shit. Thank you so much for the sub, though, Dobbs. I really appreciate it. <laughs> And guys, look at the little pingu that Zay drew. Thank you, Jin. Guys, it's, it's in there. Um, <laughs> thank you, Button. <laughs> thank you, Backstage. Thank you so much, Dolls, for the sub. You don't need to do that. Um, way too kind. Um, like, unlike Cadbury's. <laughs> Fuck them. <No. laughs> um, cream eggs. We're selling them. Lots of them. Pressure's on to sell more of them. And remind the public that they exist, apparently. That's her thing, right? You get like a lovely, she's like a lovely lady, I don't know how old she is, but she's like in charge of cream egg sales, or coming up with a campaign. Cool story, right? Um, her idea, right, chat, is that they're going to hide like a thousand white cream eggs inside like normal cream egg wrappers, and you basically, with each, if you find a white cream egg, you get like anywhere between, I think it was like 10 pounds, like cash money, and the top prize of 10 
thousand pounds, which is a boatload of fucking cash. That was my Wednesday stream. Hardly any game play, just talk. Oh my god, Dobbs, this, this is turning into right now. This is my first day back. I'm tired. I've been driving all day stream. So I'm going to talk about crazy documentaries I watched with my mother. Um, so buckle up. <laughs> buckle up, chat. I will get sidetracked multiple times. So they call it, she's calling it like the great white cream egg Easter hunt. Where there's like a thousand cream eggs that are white. They're made out of white chocolate, but they're wrapped in the normal cream egg packaging. And you win like, you know, and it, there's like a little scroll, almost like Willy Wonka's golden tickets. Wrapped inside the cream eggs, where it's like, hey dude, you won 10,000 pounds. That was like the top prize, right? So Charlie and Chocolate Factory, you cream eggs, you get money. Exactly, that's pretty much her campaign. That was her idea to boost cream egg sales, right? And then it cuts to this, right, that's story number one. That's arc number one. <laughs> arc number two. There's a, um, there's a competition, right? And they must do it, I think they said they do it yearly in the UK, where basically everyday people can give their chocolate ideas to Cadbury, right, for new flavors. And basically, apparently they said, like, the, the corporate executive Cadbury people were like, Oh yes, we get tens of thousands of entries every year. And this is our job uh, to pick the best three. And from those three, we actually create their chocolate flavor. And we make it for the public. And then the public has X amount of time. And, and they buy the one they like. And the one that sells the most bars wins. And we make that a permanent flavor, apparently. So, you know, they're like... They're pitting against, you know, so three, you know, th tens of thousands of entries, three people, they pick the top three, Cadbury actually will make their chocolate bars, and then they're on sale for like a month at a time, right? It's basically like, you know, the one that sells the most bars in that time wins, they they become a permanent Cadbury flavor, and the other two flavors get booted. Um, Kiwi, do you have Toblerone? I do have Toblerone. Um, I don't like Toblerone. Is that weird? It's, I find Toblerone sticky. Ah, uh, chat, it's raining. God damn it. <laughs> we'll never know the end exactly. <laughs> Guys, I find Toblerone sticky. Is that just me? Is it just my Toblerones? I feel a bit sticky. They get stuck in my teeth. It's a weird. Is it the honey in them? I don't know. Toblerone are sticky to me. And they're not my favorite. Um, <laughs> anywho. So then they're like, so that's the that's the backstory of arc number two, right? And then they, they focus in on this lady. She's like a middle-aged lady. Jolly old UK lady. And she basically goes in the story how she's like honey and new guy yes it's weird uh i don't like toblerones really i'll eat them don't get me wrong but they're not my favorite um and she's like hello i'm whatever my name is mary poppins and um you know oh, i come up with this chocolate flavor uh, it's called strawberry no raspberry shortcake and that's her chocolate basically and you know it's like it's, it looks nice it actually looks and sounds delicious i did again this is uk so i didn't get dry unfortunately but basically, she was one of the three contestants that they chose to be like in the final, almost like the the you know the chocolate off, if we call it that. <laughs> but you guys are regretting the whole long story option now, right? Um, <laughs> um, but basically, the the story of her thing is that um, she her mother was really sick, and so she quit her job and cared for her full time. It got really sad, actually. And she said that, you know, they heard about this competition from Cadbury's and they came up with that. They thought, oh, well, you know, let's come up with a chocolate flavor to pass the time, you know, kind of thing. And um, they said, oh, there's no chocolate bar on the market right now that has raspberry in it. So they came together with her sick mother, her and the daughter, I guess, came up with this raspberry shortcake flavored chocolate bar. Um, and then she's like, ah, oh, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, so they submitted their entry. But unfortunately, before they found out, or she found out, that she was in the top three and won, essentially, you know, made it to the final. Her mother passed away. So I was like, that's fucking sad. Like, straight away, your, tear, your, your, your tears are forming. So I'm like, God damn it. Like, that's upsetting, right? So her mother passed away, but they worked on that together. But she, her mother never got to found out, never found out that she made the top three. Because, you know, apparently it took months for the entries to be sorted or whatever. So she got sad about it. I was like, damn, that's kind of sad, right? At this point, I'm in. Like, I phone is down. I'm like 100% laser focused on the TV. I'm like, I'm fucking into this documentary. This is maybe 10 minutes in. Um... What the fuck? Oh, yeah, apparently, I don't know. Apparently, between her submitting the, the flavor entry, their, their option, and Cadbury actually saying, hey, bro, you, like, got it. Um, <laughs> no problem, Dobbs. Thank you for the lurk. Um, yeah, she passed away. So I was like, that's fucking sad. But then they basically take her through the point where, um, you know, they 
have like samples of her chocolate and she tastes it and she's like oh my god that's fucking amazing because you obviously you know it's just an idea at that point they haven't actually tried the flavor so Cadbury had like samples for it she's like here's your here's your chocolate that you made try it and she's like that's really good and then um they took her through like they're like oh so tell us more about your mother and so she, basically they told her more about her mother and apparently her mother really liked butterflies and this lady has like a little butterfly like pin on her like she had like a little jacket on like a you know like a kind of like a suit jacket on she had like a little butterfly lip, uh, pin on her lapel and she's like, oh, this is for my mother, because she really liked butterflies. And so the cabaret guy's, like, writing down notes and all this shit like this. And I was like, what's he doing with that? Like, why are they, you know, storing that piece of knowledge? And then basically, you know, I guess they fast forward a little bit time, week-wise. And they's like, all right, we've got your chocolate. It's nearly ready to go into the public. Here's the wrapper for it. And they showed her, like, the wrapper for it. I'm like, oh, this is pretty cool. And, like, it looks really cadbury -y and, like, strawberry shortcake-y. But then, like, they show her, like, hidden on the back, right? You lift up the little, like, tabs, and they put a little butterfly there. Like, hidden away. There's, like, like, a little butterfly hidden away. And they're like, oh, that's for your mum, by the way. And again, you know, tears. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm sad now. I'm fucking sad. Because they, they did that on purpose, right? They put a little butterfly on there for her mum. I was like, God damn it. That, like, I was like, I'm not crying. <laughs> and then they, like, again, they fast forward with the same lady. And she's now, like, she takes, you see her at, like, a bus stop. And there's a big old, like, bus stop poster of her. Like, the lady. Uh, with her chocolate block. I mean, like, and it says, you know, like, vote for me. Vote for strawberry, you know, buy strawberry shortcake, raspberry shortcake, whatever the fuck the chocolate was called. Chocolate bar. Big, like, bus sized posters everywhere. I'm like, all right, this is pretty cool. Like, And she's, like, so proud. She's like, oh, my friends and, like, family, like, keep commenting, saying, like, oh, I saw you at the bus stop today, or I saw you on the billboard today. You know, because Cadbury, like, at this point, are marketing this campaign, I guess. And then she goes to, like, a supermarket in the UK, and then, like, there's her chocolate, like, on the shelf. The raspberry shortcake chocolate is there. And she's, like, so, like, ecstatic. And she's just, like, a really funny, like, person. She's really lovely. Um, I was like, all right. Like, I see what, like, you know, this is pretty cool. And that's, like, arc two. And then arc three. <laughs> arc three, Chad. That's not even the second arc. Arc three is basically uh, the British, the jolly old British uh, health advisory people are like, Ch Cadbury's chocolate is bad for you. Um, ch we in the UK are too fat and we need to make better snack choices for our children etc etc and so this the get to this like cadbury scientist dude he's like one of the chocolatiers i think they call him which is you know weird um but he's like oh, i've been working on a secret top tip um project for the last three years so he's been working for the three years basically his secret project which he had like his own little corner of the factory to working on was he was to change the recipe of Cadbury dairy milk and they're like <gasps> they're like you can't change the recipe of dairy milk that's sacred blasphemy but he's like no nah, dude I gotta change it um, because the British health board are like coming down on us and we gotta like reduce the sugar in it because you know sugar's bad the British accent <laughs> why you what's wrong with my British accent god damn it all right go Liverpool um now I've lost all right yes reduce sugar in Cadbury's because you know health reasons and he basically was like he's been perfecting this recipe for over three years and he's, he keeps going on and be like oh this is my baby you know and i'll be really upset if they don't like it because you know i've spent over three years of my life trying to reduce the sugar in cadbury's dairy milk to make it healthier for people um and you know it's been three years and if they don't like it i'm gonna like i'm gonna jump off a building or some shit uh he was kind of weird i don't like this guy as much uh, and anyway, you know, he like, they like blur out the ingredients. He's like, oh, these are secret ingredients. So we can't show you what they're in. And they're like, <laughs> you know, he, like these guys like pouring out blurred out ingredients into vats and shit like this. And he's like, he gets like the first like trial batch of chocolate blocks come through the conveyor belts. And he's like sniffing them. He's like, look at them. He's like, oh, it's quite shiny. He's like, he's real. He's kind of a weird guy. He was a little eccentric, a little bit nerdy. But he's like holding up this bar. He's like, oh, look at the shine on it. Like cracks it open. He's like, oh, hear that snap. I was like, Ugh. um, and then he tastes it. He's like, that's pretty good. You know, he's like, oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, and then of course all his coworkers, he's like, yeah, try this. You know, he's basically, he does all this blind testing stuff with all those workers. And they're like, oh, this is it like dairy milk? He's like, nah, bro, that's like, apparently there's 30% less sugar or some shit like that. So not even that much. There's 30% less sugar. Cool, I guess. Um, and his thing, he was pretty chuffed with it. And he did like a blind tasting. And everyone was like, with the public. And they're like, yeah, no, it tastes fine. Like, you know, it's chocolate, I guess. And he's like, that'll do. <laughs> he's like, that's all I need to hear. I'm fucking in. Um, 
And then you get to, like, this marketing guy, and, like, he's trying to design a wrapper for it, and basically, you know, he makes it, like, look, it has, like, a green, tealy kind of, like, wave on it, because he's like, health, right? Like, when you think of health, you think of green. So we're going to put green in our shit, and people will think it's healthy. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Pretty much. That's, uh, look, that's what I felt like. And, like, <laughs> they try to trick people. They, like, got the, you know, the purple chocolate bar, and they put, like, a green swirl on it. Like, it's healthy, because it has green in it. 30% less sugar, you know, that's the whole tagline. It's ca- I think it was called Dairy Milk Light or something like this bullshit. Um, and he's chuffed with it, and he's, like, super happy with it, right? And he's, like, and, um, you know, they're, like, we did it. <laughs> they're like, so, the Cadbury executives are so, like, like, oh, we've done it. We've solved world hunger. Mm. No, you've just made a chocolate bar that has 30% less sugar in it. Congratulations. Uh, and they're super pumped. The guy's super pumped with it. I'm, like, cool, dude. Look, you're a little weird. I get it. Um... <laughs> But, ba- all right, and that's, like, the end of his arc. But here's the thing, right? At the end of the documentary, it all comes together. Like, all three stories are going on side by side, cutting back and forth. Like, you get five minutes of this story, five minutes of that story, five minutes of that story. And then, at the end, they all come together. And this is where I found this documentary so fucking cursed and weird. I was like, what the shit is happening? Because it had to have been approved by Cadbury's. Because they had filmed and interviewed people in their factory, Right? Like, it showed behind the scenes at Cadbury HQ. Did no one... But my question was, did no one at Cadbury's watch the documentary before okaying it? Because the ending, guys... The ending's fucked. uh, Quite frankly. I feel like no one at at Disney... Jesus. At Cadbury HQ actually sat down and watched that documentary. I think they got, like, two-thirds of the way through and like, Dude, this is fucking great. We look amazing in this documentary. Publish it. Push it out to the public. Publish it. The ending's fucked. Um, first of all, all right, cut back to Creamy Lady. And they basically, she goes into this meeting hall at the end, like the big, you know, boardroom thing. And Cadbury guys are sitting there, like old, you know, old white dudes. And they're like, well, yeah, um, you see, your campaign for the, the, the Cadbury Hunt Easter Egg white thing, um, outsold last year by like 20%. Congratulations. You know, and like, it's like, hooray, she did it, you know. And like, you know, so apparently her sale, the find the creamy white colored one did it. Cool. Uh, and then it like cuts to black and then it comes back up to black. And there's like this little kid sitting there. He would have been like 10 years old. Not even. Maybe a little slightly less. And he's like, oh, well, oh, I was uh, coming back from football practice. Oh, I was, I was. Um, and oh, my little brother, he gave me two cream eggs. He did, he did. Um, I have to thank you, little Charlie. Um, and I opened the first queen egg, and it was a normal queen egg, and I ate it, and it was great. And then I opened the second queen egg, and it was a white queen egg. And it's like, oh, and you're like, I suddenly I start going, <gasps> don't, and I, you know, you, my mind starts going, like, oh my god, don't tell me, this is the kid. This kid won, because remember, the grand prize was 10,000 pounds. That's a fuckload of money, first of all. And so I'm su- straight away. I'm like, oh my god, they're interviewing this. They're interviewing this kid, and he said he found a white cream egg. I'm like, oh, this is the fucking kid that won ten thousand pounds. Like it has to be right. Like why else would you put him in the documentary? They're interviewing this snotty those little brat, and he's like, I want. I found a white cream egg, and I'm like, oh my god, it's, this kid just won ten grand. Right? What you suddenly he's like, like what would you do with ten grand if you're a ten year old? You probably wouldn't get it because your parents would get it, but still. Amazing, right? And then he's like, and it had a little bit of a wrapper on it. It's something wrapped around the cream egg. And I, I unraveled the cream egg. And I said, congratulations. You have won. And I'm, my mom's sitting there going, <gasps> he's won 10,000 pounds. And he's like, you have won 50 pounds. Like, Excuse me? Excuse me? And the kid's stoked. Because, I mean, again, I would be too. Look, guys, you win 50 bucks as a kid in the competition? Cool. But I'm like, why the fuck do they show this kid? Where's the guy that won 10,000 pounds? Oh, my God. My phone just ripped. <laughs> oh, my God. There's Cadbury's chat. They're on to me. <laughs> They're not happy. Um, I was like, all right. Where's the guy that won 10,000 pounds? They have to claim it through Cadbury's. They would know who they are, right? Because you have to, like, bring a hotline. 
and be like, hey, I, I found a white cream egg and it says I won money. What do I do? You know, they don't just give it to you. It's not like 10,000 quid wrapped around a fucking cream egg. You have to actually like submit your details, I guess. Where's the guy that won 10,000 pounds? Is some fucking little kid won 50 bucks. I'm like, that's who you're showing off in the documentary? I'm like, fucking, first of all, I feel, I feel ripped off. Um, and they keep going for like two or three more minutes, like interviewing this fucking kid and he won 50 bucks. I'm like, uh, no, more, uh, maybe, maybe. More likely he probably just like, no, I don't want to be fucking interviewed. But still, I was like, this is bullshit. All right. So, you know, all right, all right. then they cut back to the, um, the sad lady with the raspberry shortcake. Maybe it was actually done by Nestle. Oh my God. Bastards. Um, but yeah, I was, I, so they, then they cut to, um, Raspberry shortcake lady. And I, at this, at this point in time, chat, I'm sitting on the chair feeling ripped off. I'm like, fucking 50 bucks. Get out of town. Why would they show this nerd? Um, I'm like, all right, well, this will be better, right? They've built this lady up the whole time, right? They've built her up. She has a sad backstory. It's perfect. It's, what it's, the fuck oh was that? God. Sanjay, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Sanjay. You, you look, you're here for the climax, um, of the greatest story known to man. How you doing, buddy? Jen Zake, uh, can we get a shout out for, thank you, Jen, um, for Sanjay. Hey, Steamy Bonbon, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Guys, go check out Sanjay, Sanjay, how was Pokemon Emerald? Um, I'm just telling the longest story ever known to man about Cadbury's and a documentary I watched, well, well mini documentary with my parents over the Easter weekend. How was your Easter, everybody? Welcome in. Hi, hi, Raiders. Um, <laughs> basically, guys, all right. I've been, going, I've been doing this story for like 20 minutes now, so I've got to finish it. So, apologies if this, none of this makes any sense whatsoever. But I hope you're having a fantastic Easter, dude. Thank you so much for the raid, my friend. How, how was your platinum... No, sorry. Emerald Nuzlocke. I did platinum. I've forgotten now. It was not bad. Open some Shining Fates as well. <gasps> Sonny, did you get anything good? I'm trying to get my fucking... Um, what did I get? I'm trying to get my... Battle Styles booster box somewhere, but I don't know. It's Easter. Everyone's gone on holiday, so I have no idea where it is. Uh, yeah. Happy Easter as well. Happy Easter, Sanjay. Thank you so much. Hope you had a good Easter, guys. Hope you ate copious amounts of chocolate, um, as is tradition. <laughs> as is tradition, chat. That's why I'm telling a chocolate-related story. But anyway. Raspberry Shortcake Lady. They cut back to her after being gypped by East... No, Creamy Egg Lady that storyline that had an unsatisfactory ending i was pissed off so then we cut back to got an amazing rear vehicle oh my god sanjay if you're in discord can you show me a picture of that i want to see all the new cards i don't know what cards relate to which series um but if you're in discord sanjay thank you gene for the the discord link um i would love to see a photo of them dude i'm trying to get more into pokemon tcg i know nothing though i'm trying to like reinvigorate myself um so any anything you can share would be amazing sir you don't have to if you don't want to, of course. Um, right. Strawberry, no. Raspberry shortcake lady. She had, remember, her, she came up with the flavor with her mother. Her mother then passed away before she found out she was a, in the top three. They make her a custom wrapper for her raspberry shortcake chocolate bar. It has a hidden butterfly on the wrapper for her mother. She takes time to go to these massive billboards on bus stops and everywhere with her face on it. Uh, she goes to a supermarket and like has you know her chocolate block is there on the shelves amongst the other ones for pu the public to buy i do lots of openings and informal visit youtube if you want some yeah sanjay you have to tell me um if you got a video on how to open a fucking pack properly because i see how they open packs and they put like the good cards they shuffle it around so the good cards always at the back i want to know how you do that because i haven't I, I don't know anything about them uh i don't know anything about opening things properly but i want to be smart when i do it um so I'm like, you know, there's this whole backstory <laughs> on Raspberry Shortcake Lady. I'm like, she has to fucking win. Remember, it's a competition between three people. Her and two others. They don't even talk about. They don't even mention what the other flavors are. They don't even show the other two people at all. The whole mini documentary series is focused on Raspberry Shortcake Lady. And she's actually lovely. And I'm so rooting for her. We're only getting him once. No worries. Wait, wait, wait. wait. My phone is double sending my messages. <gasps> you're only getting them once. Sanjay, yeah, I'm only seeing them once. Sorry, dude. So don't worry about it. You're not spamming chat or anything. I, I see you once, my dude. Right. This whole time, again, building up Raspberry Shortcake Lady. They come down to it. So again, the competition was between three blocks. 
The one that sells the most blocks wins and stays a flavor forever. The other two blocks booted out of history. You never see them again. <laughs> they get to the results. I'm like, I'm like, come on, Raspberry Shortcake Lady. She's got it in the fucking bag. Never mentioned the other flavors. Nothing about the other competitors. It's all been her. They get to the end and guess what? She doesn't fucking win. She's out. Something else won. They didn't even tell you what won. They did not even say the other flavor that won. Raspberry Shortcake Lady, fucking loser. Get out of town. She didn't even win. She didn't win. And I was just sitting there going... Like, did they not... I mean, this, is, this is the point where I'm start, like, I'm like getting like... They don't even watch the fucking documentary. I'm like, who, who greenlit this? Who, who at Dis no, Disney, who at Cadbury's HQ was like, this is a great documentary, governor. That was kind of a weird accent. <laughs> As opposed to the perfectly executed other accents. Strawberry, Raspberry Shortcake Lady does not win. She's just, they're like, they're like, oh, by the way, you didn't win. Cuts to black. And it's like, what do you mean she didn't fucking win? Why would you follow her story for the whole, like, f fucking show? And she doesn't win. So I'm sitting there just going like, am I high? Like, what is happening? Am I drunk? Like, I'm like, what is happening here? <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I picked up with healthy sugar man guy. You're going you're gonna to put you in a whole documentary, but you're the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we're going to put you in this documentary, but spoilers, you don't win. <laughs> we'll have the whole public routing, rooting for you, and you don't win. <laughs> like what the fuck? Um, so then it cuts to black, right? And it's no, it's thirty percent less sugar guy. Entire show is made just to split this backstage. It gets it gets better. Wait. So the last arc, right? Remember this guy had he worked on th over three years to make Cadbury Dairy Milk, their signature block, have thirty percent less sugar in it. Because you know British healthcare standards. I don't know. They were they were wanting you know a healthier option, and they make it, and he's super happy with it. They produce it. Um, they ship it out to supermarkets. Then again, like Raspberry Shortcake Lady, they show him in the supermarket holding up and says, you know, Cadbury Dairy Milk, 30% less sugar. And it's beside the original. And he's like, oh, I'm really proud of this. Like, it tastes, you know, pretty good. You know, um, it passed all the testing. Um, a lot of science and hard work and blood, sweat, and tears went into this. And I'm just, like, super pumped to see it. You know, this is the fruits of my labor. This is my baby. Um, you know, it's about... He said, the whole thing was about giving consumers to customers us a healthy alternative to their snacking so they're like oh I, I feel like a cadbury dairy milk bar why i don't know why there's a car alarm going outside that's weird um i can choose between normal dairy milk and this dairy milk that's 30 percent less sugar you know that was the whole point giving customers the option of choosing a healthier option and it's so funny right because at this point right this is like the last five minutes of the, the hour-long documentary you don't hear the behind the camera guy or the interviewer the whole show it's always been like just the guys talking to the camera. So the guy's in the supermarket, right? And he's holding up his bar being like, yeah, look, it says 30% less sugar. I am amazing. Look how good this is. And the guy behind the camera, suddenly you hear his voice for the first time in the documentary. So he goes, so it's 30% uh, less sugar. Um, does that mean it's also 30% less calories? By the way, this is what's happening in the show. The guy's just deadpan, staring back at the camera. So that the smart scientist Cadbury guy who made this block is deadpan steering back at the camera. Silence. Well, it seems like fucking forever. And he goes, uh, no. He goes, and then there's just... Silence. The behind the camera guy goes, well, um, the, what is the, uh, the calorie reduction? And the... <laughs> scientist guy again. He goes, um, there is a slight calorie reduction in the 30% less sugar block. Okay. <laughs> Cuts to black. Comes back up, right? And they're like in this weird kitchen. It's like almost like a stage, you know, like you see like a cooking show host kitchen. And it's like just regular people. What I assume is just regular British public people. And they're taste testing these two blocks, right? So they're like, ah, oh, they're taste testing the no, you know, the 30% less sugar block. And there's like this gin, like smart looking ginger guy. He looks like kind of nerdy Prince Harry. And he's like, 
Now, if you, if you told me, uh, if you didn't tell me, if I didn't know that this was 30% less sugar, I would say it's pretty good. But the fact that I know it's less sugar means I don't like it as much. And it's like, you know, the entire show was made to raise you backstage. Wait, wait, wait. So then, like, it shows another guy, and he's like, oh, and then, like, another British guy who's slightly less nerdy, he's like, all right, like, oh, I know it's not as tasty as, like, normal dairy milk, but, um, I know it's also better for me, so, um, you know, I don't feel bad, as bad for eating it, so I'm okay with this block. And then it, like, pans to this little kid, right? Like, well, gee willikers, mister, um, um, like, if you, I don't like it as much as normal dairy milk, but, um, it's better for you, so it must make Cadbury a lot of money, it will, it will. Yeah, and that's, that's cool. And then it cuts to, like, this mother and her kid, and, like, they're eating it, and he, she goes, Wow, it's... No, oh, <laughs> she's the same voice as the kid. Um, she's like, oh, it's, it's really good, actually. I quite like it. And the fact that it's 30% less sugar means it's a healthier alternative for the youngins, for the children, my children, specifically. And then she goes, oh... And, she, and then, like, again, silence, she's looking at it. She goes, so is it also 30% less calories? And it's like, <gasps> at that point, I'm like, oh, fuck, she asked the calorie question. Like, you don't go asking the calorie question. That's what tripped the other guy up. And then ca you hear the camera guy again. So camera guy pipes up again, behind the camera guy. You never see his face. And he's like, uh, actually, no, there's only a slight uh, calorie reduction. And she's like, she's, again, silence. What do you mean, only slight calorie reduction? He goes, again, just repeat it. Oh, there's only a slight calorie reduction in this block. And she, just staring at the camera, she's like, well, how does it less 30% less sugar, but not 30% less calories? That doesn't make sense. She's like, I don't understand this. Well, how is it not 30% less calories? Exactly. Three years of work. And, that's the, that's what, and then, literally... Cuts to black, credits roll. And I'm sitting there going, is that fucking, did, did that actually just happen? I'm like, did this actually just fucking happen? Like, who the fuck watched this documentary? Who greenlit this? Who at Cabri's was like, that's a fucking terrific documentary. Well done, governor. Post it. We will make a million dollars. Zero. <laughs> like, honestly, I think they watched... 55 minutes of the documentary at Cadbury HQ and I'm like, do you know what? It's fucking amazing. Green light that shit. Send it out. Put it on national television. International television. It'll be a winner. For sure. And the documentary goes, Oh, uh, sir, you don't want to watch the last five minutes. No, we don't need to see the last five minutes. The first 55 were fucking brilliant. They made us look like saints and saviors of the world. No need to watch the end of the film. Fucking print it. I swear that's what happened. So I was thinking, like, who the fuck would let their company look like that in a documentary? It was going great until all of a sudden it just hit a fucking, like, brick wall and, like, died a horrible death. Oh, look. I will painstakingly <laughs> comb the internet for this mini documentary. And I'll find a link for it and I'll post it. Because by fucking God, chat. I shit you not, I'm not fucking making this up. It was the most cursed thing I'd ever seen. Death made by Nears Lake. <laughs> or Mars, maybe. Mars are trying to fuck with them. But honestly, all three endings, all three arcs that they followed, fucking, like, disgustingly awful. Like, under... I couldn't believe it. I was sitting there going, did this just fucking happen? Am I in a Twilight Zone? Like, is this real? If I died and gone to some cursed, like, you know, alternate universe where documentaries end shittily. Zan, hello. <laughs> and guys, that day's gone. Did your mom's? No, she just sat there. She sat there the whole time. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Maybe they didn't need to review it. Maybe they signed off and got bamboozled. I mean, I don't know. Don't know what happened in that thing. What's going on here without me? Um, I <laughs> spent probably a good half an hour talking about a Cadbury's documentary I saw over the weekend with my parents. Um, and how it was horrid. I, I just, I, 
I've been thinking about guys. I've been thinking about that documentary since Friday night. It's now Monday night. Four, three fucking nights. <laughs> I'd be like, I have to tell you guys the story because it is amazing. And I'm glad. Follow you on Twitter as well. Sorry, thank you so much for following my Twitter. Uh, look, my Twitter is pretty average. I'm not going to lie. Um, I just post when I go live. <laughs> but thank you for the follow, my dude. Um, we have... Look, here you go. Here's brand integration for your chat. Take a listen, Cadbury's. We have Discord as well, Zara. If you want to join the Discord, you're more than welcome. That's when you guys link the Discord. Um, and we don't give away... Thank you, thank you Jen. Look at that. T look, Discord is much better than Twitter. Thank you, Zara, for the follow on, on uh, Twitter, my dude. Guys, take a look, take a page, Cadbury's. <laughs> Get your notebook out. That one's free. The rest will cost you. Um, I know you make fucking squillions of dollars and shitty documentaries. Um, chat, and that is my story of Days Gone. <laughs> How's your night going, Zana? I hope you had a fantastic Easter and ate lots of chocolate, preferably not Cadbury's, um, because as we know, they don't make good documentaries now. Chat, was that worth it? I hope you like my story. And that chat is my story. Great story. Thanks for sharing. And then I got a Slurpee. I was so upset I had to go get a Slurpee chat. Boozer, my boo, my dude, my dude, my man. Uh, hey, right. We're also playing a game. Apparently. Apparently we were playing a game, chat. I know, right? Crazy. Hey, Boozer, do you have things for me or not? Is there a button? To, no, where's the button? Let me do things. Boozer! Boozy man! Booze guy! Booze... Now you have a thing on you, but like, how do I get... You said you crafted me shit. And indeed, how it qualifies as a story? Exactly. You have to end it with that. Um, guys, I don't... He said he crafted me shit, right? I don't see shit from him to craft for me. Is it in the gun thing? The story was epic, though. I would listen to more of those. Well, honestly, dude... I think I have to go watch more Cadbury documentaries. I think I have to go watch uh, more Cadbury documentaries, chat. I don't know if they make other documentaries for Cadbury's. If that's the only one that exists, it's the most cursed documentary I think I've ever seen. Do you actually have things for me, Boozer, or are you shitting with me? There's a triangle thing on you, but, like, I can't grab it. How do I crouch? I don't know if I can crouch. Oh, my God, what's happening? I'm going to sleep and pretend none of this happened. Oh, I'm just going to close my head. Maybe that was only part one. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go, like... Guys, I'm going to go find the link somewhere... On the internet. And I'll share it with you guys. I've been waiting to tell that story for three days. Um, I couldn't believe what I was watching. Because again, I don't watch TV anymore, guys. Like, I don't watch TV at my house. I stream everything. Um, so the fact that I only watch TV with my parents, I was like, what is this show? And what is happening? Again, I was invested from the beginning. And I feel like I got, like, fucked. I don't know. It's just like every story, every, all the three stories. I mean, it's just the creamy one wasn't too bad. The creamy one just felt disappointed because they interviewed some kid who won 50 pounds and not the guy that won 10,000 pounds. Where's that guy? I want to hear his story. I don't want to hear about a little kid. So the creamy one, I guess, was the best of the three. But Jesus, the whole 30% sugar guy got fucked because they're like, oh yeah, by the way, it's pretty much the same as eating a normal block of chocolate. It just has less sugar in it. Um, fucking... Strawberry shortcake lady got done rough. She got done rough. Holy shit. Was it like it's horrible because they actually have a secret code in it and if you solve it you become like the next ear? What if? Oh my god. It's just like I don't know, dude. It was cursed. And also I feel like I came to Boozer's house and he gave me nothing. I I guess I came here to get ammo. Cool. Cool chat. Um Here's it, guys. That went for so long. I kind of need to go use the bathroom. <laughs> Fuck me. That story went for so long. I'm like, all right, now I kind of need to go to the toilet. Um, better get to decoding the movie. Oh my god, look, Metal Gear. Look, Zeke, we're gonna need you like working night and day for this. What else you got on, dude? Cancel it. I don't care what it is. Cancel it. I'll send you the. Link. I'll find the link for this fucking film. And you can like maybe there's like Illuminati secrets in there. Maybe there's a happy ending after all. I want to know who fucking won the chocolate competition. God damn it. It wasn't Raspberry Shortcake. That's for damn sure, chat. All right, guys. I'm going to use the buff. <laughs> Get ticked gear on it. Oh, my God. Sanjay, I'll find it. Don't worry. Guys, I'm going to use the bathroom. Uh, give me a minute. And we'll be back. And I won't talk about Cadbury anymore, I swear. <laughs> all right. First of all, here's gear up. Jen, what the hell is that Cadbury's? documentary about guys i'm not gonna lie i don't even think that inspector gear knows what that show was about 
just play it. It's broken me. I'm a fucking mess. All right. <laughs> Here's BRB. I'll be back in but a moment. Or not. Just tired and decide. Oh, God. Gang, are we stuck in an infinite loop? What the fuck? Can I just thunder it? Shit. I would've caught us an ice time. Also, how much is that gonna hurt? <gasps> <gasps> no! Where's my car? Or, or park over there. The Rattler sucks, it does not like teleport fast to me. Oh, oh! But if they did like a remake no of this game. Okay, that's not even a car, where the fuck's my car? Don't run me over. Excuse me. I think Frank. I think Frank just committed a uh, crime. Don't worry, gang. I'm a freak. You good at this game? As soon as I could figure out how to get to you. Come on, Benton. Look what I found. I like feeding the guys, he's cute. Nothing bad will happen to him, I swear. Hold still, you woolly git! Bandon, no! What's he doing to Fenton? What did he do to Fenton? I went through all that just so he killed kill Fenton. A beast. A man like me can ill afford to slaughter a sheep for victuals, but the elderman demanded it, and I must have He killed but Fenton. You and me, I've been dying to murder this bastard for ages. Fenton was a royal pain in my ass. Wow, exactly. I thought he was giving him like sound a hug or something. What yeah. sound did Blame that have? stealth failure on the fact that the G game was yeah, very. Is it working properly, guys? Can you hear my cursing? Is that true? Is that? God, look what I had here. Wow. Is it playing with sound? Did Gear Up play with sound? Oh my god, chat! No! Play it again! Did that work? There we go. Alright, for some reason Streamlabs had <laughs> muted Geralt. I don't know why. There we go. Play with the horns. No, oh, nice. Nice, chat. Oh, nice. <laughs> there we go. Um, there we go. I don't know why. Look. I don't know why. I don't know why. They'd be screwing me. It'd be screwing me. Alright, let's actually go do some games now. I came all the way to Boozer's house and I feel like it did nothing for me. He didn't give me anything. He's like, I crafted you some items, bruh. And it's like, nah, dude. You didn't do shit for me. Um, guys, you see why I've been so hyped to tell you guys the Cadbury story for three, da three days now? He just wanted to see you, like, to inspect a girl. Bastard. Guys, I was at my brother's house, right? So my brother just moved into a new flat with his friend. 
Um, and I didn't even know, like, he didn't even, well, I didn't know or realize, oh my god, look at that cursedness. Oh, look at it. Gross. Um, I didn't realize he liked, like, he said he's played The Witcher 3, but I didn't realize he liked it that very much. Um, because he never really talks about it as much as I do whenever we talk to each other about gaming. Um, that bastard has a Geralt, like, fucking, like, statue, like, figurine, like a statuette, like a, to scale, model one. I was like, what the shit? It looks so cool as well. Like, it's like, you're wearing, like, think, like the beer armor, with, like, a sword out, and I'm like, holy shit, it's like a, I don't know, a 30 centimeter statue. If you guys use centimeters, you know what I'm talking about. Did you swipe it? He wouldn't notice? No, it was, like, on a shelf and everything. Like, his, his room was not, like, he doesn't have much in his room. I just saw it in there. I was like, holy fuck. I didn't even ask him about it, because I was like, I was like, damn, dude, where the hell did you get that from? It probably cost him. I hate to imagine what it cost. Oh, Jesus, that's giving me. Bad zombie. What the Bad zombie. happened here? Uh, wonder if they left anything worth the Oh, we talking to ourselves, Deacon. Uh, yeah. I was basically like, you little bastard. You fucking, like, is this cool-ass Geralt statue. Even, guys, I've got no statue. I've got a pop of Geralt, like a Funko Pop. That's it. Why would I go this way? This seems like the wrong way to go. Um, but yeah. I was very jealous. God damn it. That's my story about Geralt. So my brother has a cooler statue than me. Get the nin nin nindroido. I they like the little chi chibi ones, right? Little little chibi looking ones. I mean, I do like the little I like the little Siri one. Or like little yin. Ooh. Yeah. Hey guys, you know they finished wrapping. They wrapped season two of Witcher, the same for Netflix. I'm so gonna like. We're so gonna. There's a crazy guy here. It's crazy people. I was gonna get fuel, but never mind. Um, I'll, I'll survive. Uh, I'm so... Guys, we're so gonna watch fucking Netflix Witcher, by the way. I guess I'll come when season 2 comes out. Burning this infestation zone later. Guess... Wait, what'd he say? I guess I'll come back with what? I just bought Link the other day. I'm, it'll help with my sadness. Gene, you have to share that shit. I wanna know. What did Deacon say? Guys, he's like, nah, bro. I'll come back later. I'm like, no, 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 no. We'll come back now, Deacon. What did he say? The rest of our drugs. Where are our drugs, chat? We can't do nothing without drugs. Gen is freaking awesome. I have seen them, right? I know they do. Oh, there's a brick. I know they do like a Siri, and I want a yin one. Because, you know, yin number one. All right. Where? Bowler bars? Guys, bowler bars. I bet you they're not made by. Tucker! I spotted him, and it looks like he was, uh. Like he was oh, waiting fuck. for someone. Um, I bet you not made by Cadbury's, that's what I was going to say. What the shit, Tucker, alive? Bike gun actually. While on the bike gun actually determine my distance to your target mind with your actions, the size of your target, oh, ladies, reticle distance displays how accurate you are. The smaller reticle, the better your accuracy. So get, get nice and close and murder him. More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he's Gene, what is this? Hold on. I have to click it. I have to click it. Oh, he's on a horse. That's actually amazing. Oh, and this is Zelda too. Oh, bruh. I like it with this little hood on. And he has a little axe and a little club. Alright, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, Gene. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty jealous of that. I am boring and Funko Pops. I am boring stuff. Alright, let's do it. Oh, who the fuck's that guy? Bike switch targets. We'll ride on the bike, tap L. Oh my god. I got it, dude. Alvarez? Ah! Gotta reload. What are you doing? Oh, who's fucking nailing me? Yeah. Oh, I shot him. 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 Oh, Jesus. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I can't, don't, I can't read and drive. I'm trying not to. He has a friend now. Oh, God, look at that zombie pit. The zombie pit. Look, he stopped for me. Chat has very kind of him. Oh, my God. Sorry, guys. I can't read. Reading and driving's bad. Don't do it. Especially when you're shooting out in the zombie apocalypse. 
Reload! Here we go, got him! Got him, Jet. Never mind. It's fine. I have a Zelda already, so they'll be. Oh my god. They're pretty cool looking. Hey, Roach. How's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Uh, uh, no. No. I, I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh. That's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking. Oh, Deke, uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Search him. I need to heal first. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not my job. I'm gonna leave that up to Alki. So what? Let me just leave him here. Great. Because the least work I have to do, the better. Bounty hunter. Hell yeah. They took. I got Deke, him. Marked my trust is increased. But with the wrong one. Okay, Deke. Uh, please, man. Come He's on, alive. please. Did he have my drugs? <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, Tucker want to get high, chat. You and me, we were friends. Get off his ass. Say John out. All right. Please, please. Hey, who's I don't want to die. Ah, don't leave me out here. Chris Come on, Bush. I'm shining. Any idea where oh, it, uh, a thunder egg? What are we playing D&D yeah, D yeah. now? Or some some other thing like that? I don't know. In, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know. Maybe Miriam Forks. Uh, what the fuck is a thundery? Yeah, okay, thanks. Oh my god. Where am I going? I bought you something. Find a thunder egg in the visitor center. Oh my. Alright, fine. I need fuel though, chat. So I'm gonna have to take a detour to the air and get fuel. Holy shit. Alright, I guess if a zombie's coming along, you know my problem. Guys, do I like lure a zombie in here and like kill him? Just, just out of curiosity. Why are we on full name basis? Shit, chat. Honestly, my mind's still boggled from Cadbury's. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that took a lot out of me. That story was like three days of anticipation and hype, and I hope it worked. Are you guys bad people? You are bad people. Ah, fuck! Wait, wait, no, jump doesn't work, does it? I don't want to deal with them vagrants. I just want to get fuel and be gone. Hell yeah. Fuel. fuel up quickly! Okay, don't go. Good. Lousy shots. You'll never take me alive! Ah, fuck! Sit still, you son of a bitch. They fucked me up. Alright, cool. What is that thing? That's the most cursed looking deer I've ever seen. So there is a zombie pit. You know that, right? Oh, I'm saying, guys, look. There's some weird shit on TV. I'm glad I don't watch it. Or pay for it. Or whatever. I'm just saying. There's some funky shit on TV. This is a gooey. Is that a Twinkie factory? Twinkie shop, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there's some weird shit. Unfortunately, the rest of my TV viewing was, like, not as exciting as that, but... I watched some French people make French baguettes, and I was like, cool, this is interesting. My mom likes, look, my mom likes cooking shows, right? She's down with all the cooking shows. Let me see if there's, like, supplies here, because I need it. I got beat up. I'm getting beat up, chat. I need some supplies. I don't even have a fucking weapon. That's how bad my situation is right now. <laughs> oh, is that a 2 by 4 I'll take it. Thank you. Can I craft a baseball bat with it? Oh my god, I can't make a fucking baseball bat. <gasps> I can make a saw blade. Actually, let's do this one. Holy shit, chat. Look at that bad boy. I love cooking shows too. Chopped Incredible. I haven't seen that one. Sorry, Jim. All I know is, yeah, my mum, like, like, that's what she watches. So that's how I watch the Cadbury show. <laughs> And then she watched something about, like, there's, like, two French dudes who are, like, in f Paris, like, making baguettes and eating shit and being French. And then, um, what else is there? Yeah. I don't know. My dad watched, we watched old movies. We watched, guys, they played the old, uh, 
was it Alice in Wonderland? With, is that with Dorothy? No, that's with Alice, right? Shit, I don't even know which one that is then. With the Wicked Witch, you know, from the, the one from like the 1930s. Julie and Julie is the one with the comfort movies because of the cooking in it. That's the one with like, it like cuts in time, right? Where like the old lady in the 50s writes the cookbook and then the modern day lady is like um, recreating her recipes, like going through the whole book, right, Jen? So I get something with these, don't I? Wizard of Oz, thank you. That's it. Guys, I watched like the old school Wizard of Oz. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. And it was, look, for the 30s, you guys say, it was not a bad effort. But, like, nowadays, holy shit. But, like, they did good, I think, back in the day. Um, I found out that actress, uh, Dorothy, died of a fucking drug overdose. You hate to see it. Um, true story. Exactly. Yeah, I do. I actually think I've seen that movie, too. Julie and Julie. It rang a bell. I don't know why or when I've seen it, but I definitely think I've seen it. Um... Oh, I hate them skulking around. Why, zombies, must you skulk around? Oh, they're gonna follow me in here, aren't they? God oh, damn it. If I go far enough away, then maybe they won't follow me. Or maybe they will follow me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Oh, they follow me. Ma'am? Do I have a, a suppressor? Ma'am? Sir? Oh my god, look at, listen to it. Oh my god, I missed. There we go, got it. How the hell did I miss? Right I'm a little rusty, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm a little rusty, chip. It's been a while since I played video games. I did play Stardew. Guys, I'm into spring again in Stardew. Yo, me and Penny, fucking hot and heavy. <laughs> no, she, um, we had, she, I walked into her house and her mom got pissed because we cleaned up and it was very awkward. I immediately wanted to get out of here. I immediately was like, okay, I'm gonna leave. Um, this is awkward. A damn zombie. A damn cute zombie. Oh my god, button. I think there's a thing. I think there's a thing for that. And it's cursed. But yeah. But basically, guys, what I'm saying is... You're so in there. Oh my god. Jen, she loves me. Um, I went and caught a bunch of sandfish. One day, guys, I'll show you my Stardew Valley farm and you guys will laugh at me. How cursed it is. But I think I did a good job. Is this like a freaker camp, or what are these guys, what are these guys called? Rippers. Rippers are the bad ones, right? Oh, something's gonna jump out at me, isn't it? I know it is. You watch. Chat, you watch. No, no, I don't view zombies that way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see it. I see how it is. Walking that back button. <laughs> I see how it is. Um, yeah. What else was I doing? I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's weird. Oh, a big baseball bat. But I have a wooden plank now with a stabby thing on it. I mean, with nails on it. The ultimate zombie weapon. And how do I... What am I finding here? I'm finding a thing, right? Is this what she wants? A thunder egg. Now I can evolve my Pikachu into Raichu. Pog. Did it. Uh, back and there is gameplay. Dubs, welcome back. And game, thank you for the sub. I didn't mean... Uh, I didn't... No, I said thank you properly earlier. But thank you for the sub. Yes, Dubs. This, the Cadbury story is finished. And by God, what a cursed ride it was. I'm going to find that link. And I'm going to find that video chat. And I will put it in Discord. And you will all be like, holy shit, he was not lying. Like, that is the most cursed documentary I think I've ever seen. And you will, like, I'll be like, right. But welcome back, Dobbs. This sure is gameplay. Now, Dobbs, you've platinum this game, correct? Correct me if I'm wrong. You said you've platinum this game. You're playing it for a second time. Well, I'm new to this game. We're probably like... I don't know, Jay, how far in a week? 15, 15 hours? Oh, I hate those crawly zombies. Ugh, they're scary. So I need fuel, too. Uh, and then you'll make a movie night for it? Oh my god, we will. Actually, that would be amazing. It's only an hour long, too. Like, And that's with commercials, too, chat. So it's probably like a 45-minute documentary. Um, I'll find it. You wait. And it is... <laughs> Why are there dead guys here? This looks like a ruse. Or have I been here before? Maybe... Oh, damn! <laughs> I think I've been here before. I think I saved a man here. Ma'am? Move along, sir. Nothing to see here. I'm playing for a third time? Oh my god. The news are horrible. Dubs. The very first stream I played this game. Again, I'm new. I'm blind to this game, right? I don't know anything about it. I opened a car boot and one jumped out at me and I had to stab it in the neck. And it was the most cursed thing I think I've ever done. Um, got a hand out. See you all next time. Sanjay, thank you so much for being here, dude. Thank you so much for the raid early as well, my brother. Appreciate it as well. Hope you're... Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I uh, hope your emerald 
Nuzlocke is going well, my friend. I uh, hope you have a fantastic Easter. Eat lots of chocolate. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, not now. Watch me die, chat. Fucking sniper. How do you see me? Oh, that's bullshit. Alright, hold on. Attachment off. They're gonna come running for me now, right? Where are they? Where's my bike? But take care, Sanjay. Thank you for. Oh, they're coming. Lord, they're coming. Pog. Get wrecked, you big idiot. Oh, here's another one. What's your story, sir? I don't even need fucking, like, still shot for you. Oh, there's another one. Ma'am? Ma'am. Okay, you're getting a little close. I'm gonna need you to move along, ma'am. Alright, now we deal with the sniper, chat. Now we deal with the sniper. But thank you, Sanjay. Have a fantastic rest of your Easter weekend, good sir. Thank you again. We'll hopefully see you around, my dude. Hopefully we'll see you for pack openings maybe later this week if I find out where the hell's my order. Chay, I'm getting angry. Hold on, I have a sniper rifle just for this very scenario. Where is this guy? Oh. Ah, you fool. You big fucking idiot. Plugged. Uh, you feel that, huh? God yeah, damn sniper cheat. Um, in by Crazy Willies. Um, it was by somewhere. Um, it was right at the beginning of the game. Sorry, Dobbs. I don't know where it was exactly. All I know is, um, yeah, I opened a boot and it just fucking got me. And I, it actually scared me. I've screamed like a little girl. Well, yeah, that's not even that's not even fear of little girls. I've screamed like a baby, <laughs> like multiple times. Oh, God damn it, bike. Oh, I'm running low on fuel, chat. Right, set up. Repair the shit. All my scrap. It doesn't look too bad. Before Boozer got injured? Uh, yeah, I think it was before Boozer got injured, actually. I think we were trying to find Boozer. I think, it, yeah, it was like literally like maybe in the first hour or two of the game. You killed that dumb... Oh, oh you mean the little newt guy? Yeah, it was scary. And then, like, they ran away from me, and then one point I climbed a building, and there was more of them, and they actually came for me. Like, the newts ran at me. So I had to, like, plug them. But, like, they were originally scared of me. I was like, that's right, you fucking should be scared of me. Um, and then they decided, you know, what, do you know what, this guy's actually kind of a baby. We're gonna go murder him. It's like, no! They've seen through my tough guy fa facade. They've come to murder me. Oh my god, there's the clip, Dobbs. Jin's got it. Thank you, Jin. Because <laughs> <sighs> I can't do it. I don't think my heart can take it. All right now, I'm, I'm in, like, this the late stages of a chocolate-induced coma. I don't think my heart can take a jump scare right now. I'll probably wish you'll see a man die on stream. Bad zombies. I don't think I can take a skier. So let's just, let's just, I don't know, keep it to Cadbury stories tonight, shall we? I had a jump skier then too. Oh my god, yeah. No. Not a fan. Not a fan. Now I've got a Thunderstone, guys. Jesus. Yes, yeah, so now we can vault Pikachu. Uh, are you guys gonna help me here? There's a zombie chasing me. You guys got guns, right? You guys have, uh, guns, right? There's a, there's a guy, I think, coming this way. Yeah, look, there he is there. Oh, chat, I want to see what they do to him. Get, if I go in the gate. Oh, yeah, they've got a tart. The loudest scream so far? Mm, you mean manliest scream so far. <laughs> right, chat? Screams can be manly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need fuel, asshole. Okay. Where's my oh, there's my bike. <laughs> Wait, where's my bike? Wait, if you die on stream, we'll technically get twenty four seven, never any stream. True. And someone cuts my power and finds my dead body. But you know, hey, you guys, I can, I've had I've eaten my body weight in chocolate this week, like last three days. I am not <laughs> good. <laughs> I am. I never want to see chocolate ever again, until next Easter, or Christmas. Shit. You know, with a horde in this camp, you did what? You did something? Do you have a clip, Dobbs? Did you lure them in? Do you lure a horde in here? That sounds fucking... Because, <gasps> see, there's a horde, right? So, there's a horde over here, right? This Nero research camp. They're they're guarding secrets for me. They're guarding injectors that give me upgrades. And I want the upgrade, but I don't want to deal with the zombies. Are you saying if I lure them this way? Like, lure them, lure them, lure them, lure them to the camp. The camp will murder them all. Presumably. At least the horde murders the camp. That would be unfortunate. Um... I thought it said nerd research center. Nerd. I mean, they are basically nerds, right? Nero nerds. What do Nero stand for? We did learn what it stand for. I just forgot. Because, you know, I'm an idiot. Um, that's not a horde? Oh, shit. That's not a horde. <laughs> this is a horde. Um, but that worked, though, guys. Oh, I'm p posing a theory here for chat. If I lured big old zombie group, let's call them, to this camp, and they murder them all, 
Now I can walk in there, right, and be like, thank you, I'll take my spoils now. And get, like, free upgrades. Pray tell. National Emergency Response Organization. Nerds. <laughs> or delicious candies. Thank you, Dobbs. I knew, I knew I'd seen their... Anagram? Whatever that word is called. Um, somewhere before. I just forgot it. So I'm a big old idiot. Would that work, though, guys? I'm kind of curious if that will work or not. Because I'll do that if it'll work. The nearest station is hard to get to. Oh, shit. That nearest station. Yeah, because there's a little, like... Sanjay posters cards in Discord. All right. Hold on. I want to see them. Guys, I have Pokemon cards on the way. I don't know a thing about Pokemon cards. It's going to be the most cursed thing I think I've ever done. But I will stream it. Because I'm curious. What did he post? Oh my. He's got like... Oh, he's got Japanese ones too. Damn. And that's the one... For, that's the Pokemon that's the X and Y, right? The legendary one. They do look awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty jealous. There's a horde... There's a horde outside this camp, Dobbs. Oh. My chat paid me bits to enter the cave in daylight, and I screamed. Uh, I don't want to do that either. Guys, I'll take... <laughs> I'll also take bits to enter... No, I won't. You can't pay me enough bits. Um, it is freaking sweet, though, right? Guys, I don't... Look, I am not a Pokemon card person, but I want to, like... I don't know, get some? I guess so. I've got some coming. Lisa, I oh, she's saying you, chat. I bought you a thunderstorm. There you go. Give it to your Pikachu. It's beautiful. <laughs> Do it. All right. You had me at one bit, chat. I'm doing it. Take you back to me. <laughs> your hands screaming. <laughs> Thank you for the bitty gin. I'll do it. I'm easily bought, chat. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. Oh, she's gonna run away and get zombified. They make us get up really early for work. Oof. She's gonna be zombified. Damn it! <laughs> Dobbs, thank you for the 10 biddies. Alright, guys, you had me at one. Don't have to do any more. You're safe here now? I don't think she's very safe at all. She ain't gonna last two minutes, chat. I pulled. What did I say? I pulled weeds before. Hold on, hold on. Time out. I've pulled weeds before. Because <laughs> nice. Oregon, get it? I heard, guys, I heard New York apparently just legalized marijuana, correct? I don't know where I heard that. Ah, because, well, again. Watching fucking the news with my parents. Guys, I never watch the news. I never watch TV. Like, I never watch TV shows. Unless I'm with my parents. So there you go. They're watching the news. And like, ah, oh, latest news. New York says made the marijuana legal. There you go. You're welcome. It's such a boring quest. What, this one here? The pulling the weeds? Uh, correct? Oh my god. See, guys, we don't do that. Because we're not cool enough. But we can kill our grandparents. Legally, we can kill our grandparents, but we can't smoke weed. There you go. Fun fact about New Zealand. Um, <laughs> but look, I'm just saying. Look, I told my parents, like, look, any signs of fucking, like, craziness, I'm going to have to put you down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say that, but can you imagine? Can you imagine? Oh, look, sorry, Dad. It's been a good run, but, you know, like, like a, like a... I don't know, a race or something, like, he breaks his leg, I'm like, ah, oh, shit, Dad, I'm sorry. Gonna take you out back, old yeller. Only the terminally ill, yeah, yeah. We can use, what's the, what's the, I don't even know what it's called, euthanasia or whatever. I don't know, guys, we had our, our vote last year, what was our thingy, and they're like, yeah, dude, no weed, but you can kill people, if you want. Ah, oh, go away! I don't like them already, chat. Why am I doing this again? That's right, biddies. Of course. The power of biddies. I do like some biddies. All right, let's go. Boozer, go away! Euthan euthanization, yeah. The horse at the lake? Ah, oh, why? Are there, those are red. Oh, there's a one dude. Who's man? How much fuel do I have, Jack? It's probably a bad idea. Um, so then what's in here then? Oh, where's the cave? Oh, I need to find the cave entrance. This seems like a good spot. Ah, oh, fuck me. Perfect. No. Return to shore. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Never mind, I ever did it. How do I get my bike out? How do I get the bike out, chat? Can, I can Deacon swim? Deacon! Oh my god, he can't. <laughs> hmm. I see the bike. I want the bike. I can't get the bike. 
Me and you to get the bike? Oh, thank fuck. There's lots of red on my map. I hear them too. Menu. Inventory. Um, the bike would be where? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll return to shore proper. You guys can help. Why are they everywhere? Deacon St. John. Hey, a goblin. We got a job for you here at Peace right now, I'm kind of like struggling. There's lots of red things on the map, and I'm scared. You can pay to get the bike back? Ah, oh, shit, I gotta pay cash money. How do I get the bike back? Gear. Um, no. No. No? How would one pay to get a bike back? Just if I was... Just, look, just if one needed to buy the bike back. How would one do that? Is it map? I don't like those noises. <gasps> There's a guy right there. You can't remember how? Ah, fuck. Um, Alright, we'll get it. We'll figure it out. Map. Uh, terrain. Deacon. Sit. Shit. Uh, story. No. Okay. So where's this? Maybe I just die. If I die, it'll reset me, right? True or true? Where's this horde? For the horde or the alliance or whatever the wow kids say. Again, I don't play wow chat. I'm, I'm not that much of a nerd. <laughs> map, go to the go to the camp. Oh, can I do that? Why, why did I hit that? I want to do map. Camp. Ah, fast travel. Fast travel costs money and things. So I just fast travel, right? I kind of want to do this on foot, though. Let's see how cursed this is. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Are they even in here? Sirs? Hello? Spooky guy? They're not in here, chat. <gasps> They're not in here. Oh, Nero Beacon. Okay, where is it? Chat, be very quiet. Fuck up. Oh my god, it's, it's talking to me. Getting focus. Shut up. Oh, Jesus, what the hell was that? Let's just hope we don't have to get the fuck out of here. I see them, Paul. I see you. Right, let me fast travel. I need to get back to the bike. I need to get back to the bike. Chat, that's actually worked out amazingly. That's actually worked out amazing. Fucking did it. It was 9.48pm. Wait, what was that? No fear? What, what was that? Chat, my bike! It's ruined, but I got it back. You gotta come back in the day where you do? <laughs> now, I don't know. Do we specify a daytime rule chat? Also, that actually worked amazingly. I never thought I would walk in there. I didn't realize they were out at nighttime. So, those, those zombies like crawl out at nighttime, like, hey, yeah, bro, we like gonna go do some shit. And then I'm gonna go like. Because I walked in there before, and one time they were all in there, and I ran like a. You know, something. I need fuel! So how am I- I thought I just repeated my thing. Do I not have any s scrap left? See ya. Hmm, I have no scrap left. Wait till you see a horde at night, we believe. Oh my god. If Dobbs can do it, you can do it. Uh, visit the game in daylight, it's terrifying. Oh, shit. How do I make it fast t I need to sleep though, right? Hold on. Maybe this will convince you? Alright. You had me at two bitties. You had me at the first bit, to be fair. Oh, let me sleep. Let me find my camp. Chat, I'm actually... Oh, I'm going to save before we do that, too. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, that actually worked amazing, though. I honestly didn't think I could go in there and get that Nero thing. So the fact that we go, I walked in there somehow, I feel like I cheesed the game just then. But I'm okay with that. Let's sleep and make it daytime. You need sleep? Welcome back, Joe. I'm ready. 
Let's sleep. I'll auto save because I'm. I don't want to lose that. You know, neuro injector because that's fucking amazing. We upgraded my focus. I really like focus in this game. Um, so I'm feeling good. And then we'll, I'll go back there and probably die horribly. I could take him, though, chat. I feel like I could take him. Was well, a few a couple hundred thousand zombies, you know? Yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Let's go back to the bike. <laughs> yes, the biggest brains we are, chat. Look, we did that privately, even if it was unintentional. We got the Nero injector, we upgraded our skills, and we made it back. We're now safe, where I keep all my upgrades, and then we'll go be idiots. Fear or fear? Um, how do I save? Quick save. Yeah, there we go. Quick save activated. There are different energies and caves and locations of the map. Yeah, Dobbs, I think I've got one marked somehow over here. See, Nero Researcher. I don't know how I did that one. I did, th there was one up here that I did early in the game. I think I've done two more, like around this route area. Uh, they were cursed. I did one without disconnecting the speaker system and got really fucked for it. So, you know, you know, I'm good like that. But I have one more marked on my map, and it's by Boozer. So, guys, if we go back and see Boozer, maybe we go do that other one, too. And get another upgrade. Maybe I'll do my house this time. All right, let's go. All right, it's daytime, correct? I'm going to go be an idiot now and die. Sound like a good plan? Sound like a good plan. I saved, so it doesn't matter. We're, we're, we're cheesing the game. I'm okay with it. Anytime you walk by them, you mark them? Hell yeah. See, I don't even remember going near it, though. That's the thing. I must have just drove by it accidentally, and they're like, hey, bro, here's so the thing. Oh! Danny! No idea why I put up with you this long. I agree, Thurst. Thank you so much for the sub. Enjoy your remote either game. Thank you for the resub, dude. Two whole months. You're cracking. What's crack a lacking, Danny? How's your Easter going, good sir? Welcome in. I've been paid with. The... What the fuck oh my was god. That? Jeez. Josie, thank you so much for the raid. What's happening? There's a whole heap of them, and Map will tell you um, how many are in each year. Josie, thank you so much for the raid. Eastery. Yeah. There's a whole map of them, and Map will tell you how many are in each year. Gotcha. Thank you, Dobbs. Yay, thank you so much for the raid, Josie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the shout out, Jen. Guys, if you haven't checked out Josie already, go do it. Go do it. What's happening? Hey, Rocket Raccoon. Oh my god, Rocket, Rocket Raccoon. Racket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. We're big old uh, Guardians of the Galaxy fans here, dude. So fit right in. Fit right in, my friend. I was going to say, I was going to do the wrong one there. Josie, thank you so much for the, for the raid. What's happening? What's cracking? We love Rocket. Yeah, exactly. Be careful with the speakers and the nearest system. Get the attention of the freakers. Yeah, Joe, I uh, messed that up one time. Guys, I've been paid by Jen and Dobbs here to go into a cave at daytime. So this will be fun. I'm prepared to die. Um, hello? Do I have a flashlight? I do have a flashlight. Thank you so much for the raid, Josie. How are you doing? Are you playing playing The Witcher 3? Oh my god. How was The Witcher? Oh yeah, this is fun. Hey guys, what's up? You guys need a party? I can take him. I can take him, Jack. What's this? Swing! Oh my god, lord. Ah, you know, you, yeah, there's a few of them. It, yeah, yeah, there's a few of them. It turns out there's a few of them in there. Probably started the Hearts of Stone DLC. Oh my god. How are you liking it? Wait till you get to Blood and Wine. Um, Josie. But all I'll say is, I want no spoilers, guys, for Witcher 3. Because, you, again, you're talking to a huge Witcher 3 nerd here. Um, all I'm saying is, Josie, enjoy Gauntaro Dim. Just enjoy him. Um, just finished the wedding with a possessed girl. Oh my god, with uh, Vladimir. Vladimir Von Everick. Oh my god. Amazing. I hope you're enjoying it, guys. There was a lot of zombies in there. <laughs> Ain't no thing like me. Sit me. Wait, well. <laughs> you're welcome. Got some little bit behind. Zombies, there are... Z Rocket Raccoon. Funnily enough, there are a few zombies in this game. Correct. Um, guys, I have to go back and see Boozer, right? Actually, no. What's this one? Situated on peaceful lake, Copeland does the... I'm going to talk to Copeland see because I want to get his, like, camp upgraded so I can buy better bike gear. Alright, I'm going to do Copeland first, then Boozer, because Boozer's a loser. Um, uh, is it too early for a horde? Wait, so is that not a horde, guys? Is that just, like, a, is that just a group of them? Is it, like, a party? Is that a, is that a box social of zombies? Is that not a horde? Um, here, Blood and Wine is the best, but can you get to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hearts of, I like Blood and Wine better than Hearts of Stone, Josie, but... Uh, Hearts of Stone, no sorry, Blood and Wine is easily twice as long as Hearts of Stone, so it's a bigger expansion. But um, all I'm saying is, enjoy Gauntor Dim. Gauntor Dim is one of the best characters, I think, fucking ever. Uh, period. He's amazing, so, you know, I hope you like him. He's got some shit going on, I'll just put it that way. Um, that's where I quit the game. Wait, where, is that where you, wait, where'd you quit the game? At Blood and Wine, uh, sorry, Hearts of Stone. Dobbs, have you played Z Witcher 3? Almost a horde, Joe? Oh my god. 
Because you guys are like, I'm too slow to read chat and drive. Again, I can't, don't read and drive. I don't know. I think. Found the position so annoying. Yeah, Vladimir is not one of my favorite characters. Why do I have two markers on that? Why are you shooting me? Please stop it. Um, Vladimir Von Everett, guys, is not my favorite uh, character. I'll put it that way. The Von Everick's and I don't even like all gear Von Everick. I uh, finally, I, I don't like Iris Von Everick either. Either? That was weird. Either. The Von Everick's aren't my favorite, but Gunter Odim is one of my favorites. Easily. Um, the wedding scene's fun, though, only because I like Shani. Hashtag Team Shani, but actually not Team Shani, but Shani's cool. Shani and Geralt, oh. And she plays Gwent, Jack. Get yourself a lady that'll play Gwent. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tristan Yen, all I'm saying is, guys, don't play Gwent. Tristan Yen, don't play Gwent. But Shani does. Ooh, that's the one to and enjoy The Witcher in general. Dubs. It's my favorite game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big old Witcher nerd. I need fuel, please. No one shoot me, or murder me, or no zombies, or wolves sneak up on me. One time I fuel up at this station, guys, and a wolf came and ate me. Like, no joke. Fuel, please. Oh. But Josie, I hope everything's going well with you. Hope you're having a happy, fantastic Easter weekend, or Monday. Do you guys get Monday off over in Australia? As a public holiday? We do. We got Friday and Monday off as a public holiday. Four day fucking weekend, chat. I know, horrible, right? You hate to see it, or do you? Oh wait, no, I love to see it. More four week- More four day weekends, please, would be fantastic. Um, have you played Horizon Zero Dawn? There's a rope there. Fuck, I saw it too. I saw it too. God damn it. That's what happens when I read chat, chat. Oh, I have a spike bat though. <laughs> Idiot. I saw that at the last minute and I failed miserably. Now I need scrap. And I have none. Shit. Um, I have played Horizon Zero Dawn. It's a trap. Um, I have played Horizon Zero Dawn. Not on stream though. Um, Doves. I played it way back in the day when it came out on launch. And it's a gr Did you like it? Have you played it? Thoughts? Uh, I love the setting. Um, Aloy's like the Black Widow. Everyone she touches and loves dies. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, what else? The... It probably went on a little long. Uh, but do you know what? The plot twist in that game... Again, guys, no spoilers for Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, the, pl the twist in that game is fan-fucking-tastic. Alright? Uh, the plot twist on my bike! The plot twist in Horizon Zero Dawn, if you haven't played it, is really, really good. Say, Gene, have you guys played it? Button? Danny, have you guys played it as well? My poor bike. Do I even have scrap to repair my bike with? Probably not. I, I, I got a little bit. 64% is okay. all I need. Uh, you also play from it. I need Forbidden West, so do I. I want to play Forbidden West. Did you play the DLC as well, uh, Dobbs? The, what was it? The the Frozen Wilds? Is that what it was called? You have not played it? Oh my god. Fix the engine. I'm all out of scrap job. Sorry. I do, I need more scrap. I'm also, I'm afraid of tunnels. So you know what? I'm not going to hang around in here. Because this is where bad shit happens. This is where bad things... Bad things always happen in tunnels, chat. Name one good thing that happened in a tunnel. I'll wait. But not too long, because I know there's no correct answer there. Um, whole game done. Hell yeah. The Last of Us 2... I have played The Last of Us 2. I didn't like it as much as the first, um, Joe, but you know what? It's still, I think, it's a pretty solid game. Hey! Rocket Raccoon! Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Appreciate it. Hope you're having fun. Um, yeah. I really liked, um, I liked The Last of Us Part 2, but didn't like it as much as the original. Is that fair? I also thought The Last of Us Part 2 probably ran a little long for me. Um, but hey, it is what it is, right? I, still th I thought it was a really fun gameplay. I like that it was a little more open-worldy than the original one. A little bit. Um, follow alert sound? Hell yeah. Guys, I told you I like Witcher. Thank you, Jin. I told you guys I like the Witcher, right? Who's pumped for season two? Oh my god, I'm so pumped. The first is very good? Exactly. The first was amazing. The second one was still good, but not as good as the first. Cat Jam? <laughs> You guys can hear it right, right? I know it's weird coming through my speakers, but... My bike's
little part of the end. Oh, oh, he has gear on chat. <laughs> he just decides to show up. And the ear horn. Coins, if only they were real, right, Joe? If only they were real coins. Oh my god, can you imagine? I'd be like Meowth and using Payday. Meowth, let's right. Um, what am I doing here again? See you. I'm talking to a guy about a thing. <laughs> I forgot what was happening. I wish I know. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, chat. Tell me about it. Mark Copeland. Well, well, well. Old zombie face himself. How's it hanging, bro? Deke. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah, don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to Guys, who's it pumped though for season two of The Witcher? Here, Fucking... In the Cascade Wilderness? Rippers up here. I love tomorrow. I'll leave Blevican for good. The music from The Witcher series. I need to hear that one, Rocket. I don't even know the names of the songs. Of All I know is... Plus a coin. Amazing. The face of Copeland? I know, right? I... He's seen some shit. Poor bastard. At least he's still there, I guess. Looks like zombie scratches aren't quite as bad as zombie bites. What am I doing? Hear about a ripper camp? Ah, oh, shit, I gotta take down some weirdos. Alright. Well, guys, I'm so close to having respect level 2 with these guys, and they'll give me better bike upgrades, so I really, really want it. Is all I'm saying. I think he was in trouble. Yeah, I think he had a little close uh, scratch. Scrape. But guys, basically, we have... Look, we got movie nights to do. we got to do uh, Season 1 of The Witcher we, right before Season 2 kicks off. So we can do Season 2 together. And then... But before that, sorry, we got to do um, the worst documentary I've ever seen. The Cadbury documentary. Oh my god. Movie nights? Yeah. Zake, when's your one? Because you guys actually have to show me how to do it, because I have no fucking clue how you do that. Guys, we have... Well, Jen's had a movie night in Discord. Um, we watched Shrek, like, two weeks ago now? Shit, it's been a while. Two weeks ago, right? Um, and then we decided... We, we're trying to make... We, I guess we got to make it a thing. But I don't know how to do it, so, you know. Well, God, I... I don't, guys, I don't like the zombies. <laughs> Can we watch Jurassic Park as well? Oh my god. It's real easy. Hop in a call and just share your movie screen. Alright. Well, I'll find that. Um, I think it was the last week, wasn't it? It wasn't... Yeah, it was last week, wasn't it? It was the week before then. I can't remember. Guys, my memory is uh, pretty scuffed at the best of times. I'm not going to lie. I'm old. And it's late. And I'm, again, coming out of a chocolate coma. Wolves. Oh, what the hell? Uh, no, it's not. Checking out. No, it's not. I'm not talking to you, Boozer. Yeah, oh, guys, he got a burned wrist. Fuck hand. I'm hand wrist? Up to Cope Why are there zombies all around me? Is there baby zombies? Rippers? I don't want to stick around to, like, find out. Yeah, Boozer. What the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the Rippers were oh, here. For us, that we had a price on our head. Should I be driving right now? What the hell? How's that possible? I mean, sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. What is that? There's something back there. It's a zombie, right? Oh, it's a newt zombie. Gross. Actually, I want to miss the... When, when did we watch... Hey! Hey, you! You gonna fight me or what? You are gonna fight me, you little shit. Down you go. Bounty? Bounty? Huh. Thank you. I got a use for you. Uh, guys, little newt zombies are, I think, my least favorite. I found fuel though. It was last week, I'm sure. Yeah, I can't remember. But yeah, we watched uh, Shrek and Shrek. I've seen Shrek twice this year, and I'm just saying that's a that makes for a pretty good year, chat. 2021 so far looking pretty good. When you say you watch Shrek twice in the first, what was it, three months? It's a pretty good month, pretty good year, should I say? I forgot what I was doing. That should be it. Now we need Shrek two, Jin. When is Shrek two? Because I feel like Shrek 2 could even... It's one of those rare things, right? When a sequel holds up to the original. And Shrek 2 hold, not only holds up, it could even be better. It's hard to say. Alright, enemy camps. Why is he giving me this tutorial now? I feel like I fucked this. Like, to, I mean, I've done this multiple times. Metal Gear chat. Dun, 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 dun. It's like, when are you going to do more Metal Gear? Baby. Are they down here? 
I don't like this. Because they're around me on the map, but... Ah, oh, there's one. Got one. Oh, he sees me too. Oh, he sees me, chat. I don't know, I was going to try for this weekend, but I'm not uh, I'm not out of work until 8.30 on Saturday. Rip. Damn, Gene. What about Sunday? Fun day. Alright, so a guy down there. But where are the rest of them? How many of them are there? The Rippers? Joe, I don't like the Rippers. They're kind of like zombies, but with guns. Because they look, they, look, they look very similar to the zombies. Just they have guns. And they're kind of smart, but kind of freaky. I'm going to assume they are 100% cannibals. Just a hunch. Do I have a silence on that? I don't think I do. No, I do. Got him. One of eight. Are there only eight of them? Our week's a Sunday, Saturday. So wait. I know my Sunday schedule yet. Ah, oh, I get you. So you don't know your Sunday yet. Oh, there's one. Oh, look at that one, chat. Being freaky. I missed. I missed again. I missed a third time. I got him. No, I got a third time. Pog. Um, I get it. And guys, we need to play more games together. We haven't done a, like, playthrough since Minecraft, right? With Zake, as well. Jen. We need to play the video games. Now, if we play something, I don't know what we play, but we play something. I'm just trying to snipe them, chat, with my fucking, like, Silence AK-47. Oh my god, cursed. I don't like this. I don't like this, chat. See, it sounds like they're zombies, but they're not. They're just freaky people. Look at this guy. They look like zombies with guns. That's what I'm saying. They're like zombies with guns. There's one over there, too. I'm going to mark it. How many left? Five left. There's a tripwire there, I spy, with my little eye. You ever get a weekend off? We'll jump back into Minecraft. Yeah, I'm ready for. I'm keen for anything, really. Phasmo, Stardew, whatever else we fucking play. I don't even know what we play at this point. Oh, lift your head up. No, I can't do that. He's too. He's too twitchy. That one. Whatever else we need to play. There's a beer trap there. Let's avoid that. If we can. More traps. Oh, look at them being freaky. What's that one doing? He's like nothing. Ah, uh, bullshit. You saw nothing! Oh fuck. <laughs> Guys, this is the best upgrade I've ever spent. There's literally- Oh wait, now there's 14 of them? Ah, oh, there was 8 of them before, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. If I ever get a weekend off- Yeah, that'd be great, yeah. I'm easy- Oh, there's more than that. What the fuck was that? Fuck, guys. Jerry sex. Holy shit, thank you for the raid, my dude. 816? Damn. Welcome, what, guys? I'm dying right now. Uh, uh, thank you for the raid. Sorry. You hurt my brother, Matt. They hurt my brother? Who's my brother? Chat, thank you for the shout out, Jen. Welcome, welcome, Ash Lord. Oh my god. Did sit A? A. Thank you for the follow, my dude. Um, Jerry, thank you so much for the raid, dude. What were you playing, by the way? You playing. Sorry, I see it there. Far Lap Horse Racing Challenge. My god, what is that? Anxiety Sandwich, thank you for the follow, my dude. Welcome in, everybody. Um, how are you all doing? First of all, sorry if I missed anyone. Um, I'm a little bit freaked out of this game right now. Ashlor, was this not perhaps you were doing, my good sir? Everyone smash that follow if you haven't already. Thank you, Ashlor. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Pops in Inzidal. Is that New Zealand? Yes, as New Zealanders got to stick together, my dude. Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Appreciate it. Welcome to... Oh my god. Uh, Prime sucks. Prime sucks. Oh my god. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Guys, welcome to an idiot plays whatever this game is. De Days Gone. I was gonna say Dead Island. Dying Light. <laughs> it's got zombies in it. And now these guys, they look like zombies. But aren't quite zombies. They gotta live. Fuck. Son of a bitch. Here's your fucking path. Well, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing, first of all? Um, happy Easter. Hope you're always having a fantastic Easter long weekend. Um, if it's a Dean holiday for you. There's a guy right on top of me. Chat, I don't do good with zombie games, first of all. So, oh, Jesus, they're right here. Even though these guys aren't zombies, they're like baddies, as you can tell. I'm plugging them. I'm absolutely destroying them. Rag them tree full, rip it. Is that the last person? No, there's two more people left. Guys, sorry, I, I like. Oh, this is much more wholesome than Dobbs' stream. <laughs> Dobbs, I. Oh, I liked your stream, though. Because Dobbs. 
I too sometimes will like, oh, there's a zombie. Um, drop a few bo like if bombs, but you know, I try and keep it. Gen well, generally, there's one hiding right in front of me. I didn't realize it was a zombie tied up. Where is this person, sir? Oh Jesus Christ! Did it? Yeah. How's your day going? I was a little bit sorry. Thank you so much for the raid, dude. Um, welcome in everybody. Thank you for all the follows. I was a little bit uh, full on there. Crazy. Um, I was just thinking it was a distant lack of swearing. You're fucking right, actually. Or you're fucking right, my friend. Dolph did say some great things. <laughs> you mean? Yeah, exactly. You love to see it, guys. Angel Dobbs said you're amazing. So it was a no-brainer raid. You thank you, Jerry Fatsax. And guys, um, I appreciate it. How was Far Laps Horse Racing Challenge? That sounds interesting. First of all, Far Lap Horse Racing. I mean. Get out of town. We love our Kiwi. Guys, we love our... Look at that little Kiwi Pingu. Thank you, Jim. Guys, my trust is level 2 now. It means I can get some good stuff. Guys, have you, you guys played... What was this game again? Days Gone. All good, bro. It was fun as AF. We do bets with the chat. Oh, my God. Is it like... Do you control the horses, Jerry? Or is it all AI? Like, do you just like... Just <laughs> How is it... The races themselves AI? Look at this thing. Can I mess with it? That's grim. I don't want to mess with that. We don't have a bit of time for that. I need to heal. Hold on, chat. There's a lot happening. I get very easily distracted. Is it business with my bike? What happened to my bike? We're beating on horses was a great time. I'm Aussie, but I'll take it. Crikey. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore, chat. <laughs> it's all I have, but there are mods we can control horses. Think of it like marbles on stream. Oh, I do like marbles on stream. Um... Uh, what about having to have a Reggie, Zay? Did you ever hear from him? We used to play marbles with Reggie on stream. He was from, I think, Australia as well. He hasn't streamed in forever, so, you know. Because I never heard of zombies before that. We're the Anzac Twitch crew. Exactly, guys. we got to stick together. Thank you, guys. Welcome. If you didn't know, I'm from New Zealand. Um, I'm from the South. That's why I talk even funnier than normal. Even, like, and I'm sure Dobbs and Ashlore and any other, and Danny, if he's still here as well, will confirm that. They're like, yeah, this guy's fucking weird. We don't talk like that. <laughs> but like he does not represent New Zealand. Thank you, sir. He represents the cursed hillbilly part of New Zealand, and that'll be right. Rip Reggie. Yeah, we miss Reggie, guys. We miss Reggie a lot. Thank you so much for the raid, though, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, we're playing Days Gone. This is my first time playing it. I don't know. We're like, what? 15 hours into the game by now. Um, I'm still super good at it, as you can tell. Maybe. I don't know. It's it's. I, I like it a lot, though. I slow burn to start with, but now I'm like digging it. I'm digging it. But guys, I hope you had a great Easter so far. I hope you ate copious amounts of chocolate. Like, I ate my body's worth weight in chocolate. I'm not going to lie. Um, so now I've got, like, a chocolate coma. But, you know, we're working through that. We're working through that. And I'm just looting a bunch of shit because I need all the resources I can get. How are you finding the game? Uh, Jerry, I found it a little slow to begin with. Uh, the first three hours or so, I think, quite heavy on the tutorial. And I was struggling. Like, I actually decided... I actually said to chat. And I was like, you know, I don't think I'm going to play this game as often as much after the first three hours. Went back to it. And then immediately the next three hours were so much better. Like, holy hell. Like, the next three hours, like, made me... Like, alright, I was wrong. You know, kind of thing. I'm like, this game is pretty tight. And now I'm like, yeah, 15 or so hours into it. And it's really tight. So definitely, I think it's a slow burn to start with, but uh, I'm fully into it now, my dude. Have you played it before, though? I've been here for two minutes, and I'm asking if he's from the South Line. Yeah, Dobbs caught me out. Dobbs, I wasn't actually sure. When we raided you the other night, I'm like, no, I don't know if you're Australian or New Zealand. I couldn't quite... Again, I was, I was too busy embroiled in all the fucking like hype that was going on. It was pretty cool at the time. So I didn't quite, you know, I couldn't quite work it out. I was, I was more just in, enjoying the, the hype that was. Um... Took me like four streams to understand it. True. Jen struggled. Everyone struggles with me. I talk really fast, guys. Uh, I have a really thick accent. Thick, like, thick. Um, and, you know, generally an idiot, so. It is what it is. Um, I was thinking of getting this. It's free on PSN. It is, guys. This game, Days Gone, it is free on PSN. If you, uh, it's the April game for the PS4, I believe. And if you have a PlayStation 5, yo. Um, it is part of the PlayStation Plus collection as well, if you have that. Uh, that's how I got this game, because I never bought this game. I've always wanted to get this game, never got around to buying it, and then I was like, hey, it's part of this free PlayStation 5 collection. Um, I needed a game to play until new Pokemon Snap comes out. Plan day is gone, baby. That's how I got it. Um, it only took me two streams. Good boy, Button. You're the bitter one here. <laughs> 
Um, can't wait to get this game when it comes out on PC. Yeah, Dead Set 8. Um, I did hear this game's coming to PC. Hopefully they do a good job of the port. Because, um, you know, I heard, like, Horizon Zero Dawn's on PC now, but I heard the port was a little bit janky to begin with, but they sort of fixed it up. I hope they fix it up anyway. I need you now. I pulled weeds before. Learn from Sierra how to gather lavender. That sounds boring. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, guys, you want to go pick flowers in the zombie apocalypse? Um, but, yeah, guys, this game is free. So if you own a PS4 and you've got PlayStation Plus, it's the free game for April. So you've only got this month to claim it. And if you own a PS5 and you've got the PlayStation Plus collection, then it's free, I guess, whenever. And I definitely am liking it so far, you know? It's won me over. Again, it's a little slow to start with. But won me over. About, you know, it took maybe four hours or so to get me in. Um, I sound Aussie sometimes. I mean, I do a very poor job what at trying to do... Jesus that? Christ. Satan! <sighs> Hello, my dude. Welcome, I missed you. Um, <laughs> I was like, is this guy even speaking English? Rip. Fucking hell. Ruin me. Uh, I think so. It began. Satan, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, uh, Sake, thank you for the shout-out that time. Gizzy, hello. Satan, what were you playing, my dude? Playing Remember Me? What the hell is Remember Me, Satan? Guys, we love Satan in this chat. <laughs> how are we doing, brother? Guys, how many is that tonight? Three? Four? Holy fuck. Satan, hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming over the raid. I miss you all. Hope you're having a happy Easter. Satan, my dude, what's good, brother? What's good? Um, another raid, what the fuck? Fernando, hello. Atomic 5000. Hello, bro. Welcome, dude. Hello, hello. How many raids tonight? Uh, yeah, Jesus. Uh, we had Jerry, Satan, uh, Sanjay, shit. Too many. Too many for me. Thank you guys for being such, like, awesome people. Because, again, I'm an idiot. Uh, and I'm sweaty and hot, and I've got, I've got like, a food coma going on, so I'm struggling. <laughs> I have sore eyes because I've been driving all day. Um, I'm, I'm battling. I spent an hour telling a Cadbury story <laughs> earlier. <laughs> You know, this is quality content right here. Uh, there's like four or five. I know, I know. I don't know how many. Satan, how was your day though, dudes? Thank you, everybody. How was your, everyone's day going? Um, Sunday, where you guys are, right, Satan? It's a game where you see and change the memories of people. What the fuck? Fun game, and he's a pretty good combo style game. Hell yeah. What kind of, like, gameplay is it, Satan? Um, guys. Happy Easter, first of all. Yeah, we're, um, you know, because Easter really, if we think about it, was the real zombie apocalypse right you know does that work out i don't know that's look that was the t i was trying to work with the i was running with that joke with the title of the stream <laughs> pretty sure i fell flat with it but it is with kind of boozer i need to steal some ammo don't mind me oh shit guys it's like devil may cry but you can customize your own combos oh my god zake should play that then satan because zake's really good with devil may cry have you played devil may cry before satan sorry guys i spilled water over so i was like ooh. Holy shit, it is actually, guys, it's just, it's April, right? It's meant to be autumn, um, like the middle of autumn, and it's hot as shit. It was like 30 degrees driving from my parents' house today. Seven hours, by the way. Um, stuck in a car, uh, and it was disgusting the whole way. And it's still hot now, it's like 8 o'clock at night, and it's gross. I don't like it. Boozer, how's your hand, or arm? That's like an LA winter. I oh, know, Jen, do you know what, actually, I believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, because I actually, again, had to watch the news, because my parents watched the news. Apparently, this Easter weekend was, like, the hottest on record for parts of the South Island, where I was. Um, like, ever, since they've been holding, keeping records since, like, the 50s. Um, apparently, this Easter was, like, the hottest. It was gross. It was, like, windy and just, it was hot, like, and windy, too. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, so it's been, a, it's been a hot couple, like, days. I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Your hand looks pretty messed up, bro. Not even gonna lie. Was it hot up north, Dob? Was it hot up in the north? Ashlore, if you're still here, brother. I think Danny's gone, but... Because you guys are all, I think, pretty much north of me. We had the same temps this weekend. Did we, Jen? Oh my god. And it's like your spring, right? If that shit. Ashlore! We're going on an adventure. It was pretty rainy. It was not rainy at all here.
Thank you, good sir. Hey guys, you know, over the Easter weekend, it was the 27th birthday of the greatest Final Fantasy ever made. I posted in Discord, but holy shit, 27 years old. It's as old as me. Um, how was your weekend? It was good. Thank you, Satan. I spent it with my parents uh, for Easter. I haven't seen them since February, so it's been only been a couple months. Uh, but yeah, it was good. I went down to see them. I stayed there for like three nights. Um, I'm tired as now, though, dude, to be fair. We had daylight savings as well, so I'm kind of like, my clock is a bit screwed. I drive all day today. I got sore eyes today. So I'm a little bit of a mess right now, but I wanted to stream. Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, when did that come out? 97? So that's like 24? It's an awesome tune. It is though, right? Jerry, I'm thinking like think one earlier than that, and you got the best one. <laughs> Wait, I remember this place. This looks like where the zombie cave is. Ah, oh, if this shit, chat. We're picking herbs. We're picking now, chat. Herbs or herbs? I know I keep saying this, but herbs. I want to be known as herb stuff. Good. So what else do you I gotta hit out. Uh, I need to save some sleep. Man, Satan, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Sleep tight. Uh, we'll hopefully see you around, dude, but appreciate it. Have a great e uh, rest of your Easter weekend. We'll hopefully see you around, uh, Satan, but thank you so much for being here, dude. Thank you again for the raid. Really appreciate it, my dude. My dude. Herbs, get out. Ban her. <laughs> Six better than seven, the blasphemy. Ooh, now those, them, them be fighting words. No, I'm just kidding, Jimmy. <laughs> But not really. Six is the best. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love six. Six hey, is my favorite. Here. Wait, stop. Oh, Seven's on, good though too. Great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. Wait, what's happening now? <laughs> come on. Have man. you played the remake? I have. I played well part one of the remake. Uh, Zake played it recently, and part one. Have you played it, Jerry? We can just walk. Part one's. I mean, sorry. The remake's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. The remake's pretty good. I like the remake a lot. Uh, Materia system is by far my favorite system so, in all of Final Fantasy. I'm a Final Fantasy nerd. Jesse Beast Girl, false. That is not. Uh, I'd like to point that put the, for the record straight. That is not the um, consensus uh, <laughs> in chat here. Uh, we like our girl Tifa, who actually lives. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> and Tifa gets the lad. I'm just saying, Jin. Look it up. It's a 24 year old game. <laughs> Look, Jesse's okay. But who gets cloud? I'm just saying. Tiva stingy you, but she gets cloud. I'm just saying. <laughs> Tiva has a great personality. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see. So pump of the DLC playing the original this coming weekend. Oh my god! Yeah, they're doing Yuffie DLC, right? This coming out in September. Yo, the clash of the waifus. There's no clash here because I mean one of them's well. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> it's not there anymore. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys but I just like giving Gina a hard time. I'm sorry, Jim. Jesse is a fine choice. <laughs> no, I see Jesse being more with, um, fucking Biggs. Even though Biggs is very metrosexual. Um, look, Jesse and Biggs, look, like, can see that happening. Um, I thought it was coming out April. Is it April? I thought it was like September for the DLC with, um, Yuffie. What do they call it? I don't even know what the name of it is. What's the Yuffie okay, DLC called, chat? Ooh, I thought it was September. You, you want me yeah, we're picking play. flowers, apparently. Yep. And bring me three plants. Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna crush Shut up, dude. We're doing fetch quests of lavender. I'm not sure. Uh, have you thrown me for a loop? Oh my god. Socials? I don't have... So, Jerry, I don't really have the social suddenly. Um, uh, sorry, but the one thing I do have... The only thing that's good, the only thing that's worth joining is the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, um, oh ah, yeah, thank you, Gene. The, the Twitter though, guys, I need to do Twitter for like the, the stream announcements because I don't know how to use Twitter properly. Yep. Um, I usually just use Twitter to follow famous people like Zake and Gene, but um, and Fern, but more so the Discord, guys. If you want to join the Discord, we post more shit in the Discord. All right, I found three. I'm the best weed puller ever. You're suddenly Irith. Wait, why am I Irith? Irith. <laughs> Poor shit. She, she, she doesn't have a good run either, to be fair. <laughs> Although, I did see an article recently saying that apparently they all but confirmed that part two of the remake, guys, is going to take a um, very different turn. And apparently, they're just changing a lot of part, part two of the remake. So, it's not going to follow the original at all, which is kind of interesting, right? 
great. Gonna be because she picked flowers. Oh my god, she is. She is the flower girl, right? We at our earth. And then we get stabbed. Never enough. Oh, whatever. Everyone dies in part two. Oh my god. What if they include Zack? Get out of town. I bet you they do. Because he was like, there's a little bit of Zack in the, like, right at the end of the first remake. Spoilers for the first remake. How part one ended, that makes sense, right? I heard that too. I think you are going to be able to choose the fate of certain characters. Oh, here the dead. <laughs> dead, chat. I'm a, I'm a traditionalist. She's fucking dead. Um, just kidding. Barrett, best boy. I like Barrett a lot more than the remake, guys. I'm going to say, like, I like the remake because it's slower and it's actually correcting a lot of the sins I have with the original. Like, actual character development. I like my boy Barrett a lot more in the remake than I do the OG. Um, I'm not sure in for the Chocobo racing. Oh my god. Do you think they have Chocobo breeding, Jerry? Like the original? We can breed Chocobos. That'd be amazing, right? Um, why have they killed Tifa and Chichi turns out to be dead and wins? I'd, um, I would renounce my like of Final Fantasy if that was the case. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Um, yeah. What would they do? I yeah, I think Zach's gonna have something to do with it. I reckon. I reckon. I reckon. If I was a gambling man, and I'm not a very good gambling man, um, I reckon they're gonna do something with Zach because people like Zach, and Zach makes sense, right? Because I'm not gonna spoil too much, but Zach's kind of semi-important, I guess, to the story. Spoilers. Give me a couple of days. Go find Lavender. Shit. I have to go actual pick Lavender. I picked Lavender in the past. Does that not count? Rip. They better have uh, that I'm literally fizzing for that breeding and racing dude. I love the golden saucer. The golden saucer, hell yeah. Uh, I never got to finish the game because I ended up staying at the saucer the whole time. Shit, dude. Look. Golden saucer is pretty tight, though. Spoilers if you haven't played the OG. The golden saucer is like a giant hub world where all you do basically... It's like a giant arcade world where you just play lots of mini games. And you get to go on a date. Golden Souls is pretty cool. It's just like a giant... It's like Vegas, almost, in the Final Fantasy world. It's like Vegas, where all the people go to party and play games. Uh, sorry, what uh, time is it, chat? Oh, God. We started a little it's earlier just, tonight, because, guys, I, I was obviously it's home, because I, I got sorry, home from sure. driving. It's and I'm so conscious now that time difference means we're five hours anyway, difference with, uh, with Pacific, which kind of sucks. Tomorrow's stream, if I do stream, because honestly, I just feel like beat tonight. Um, we'll be Shit, super right. late. I want to start at like 11. No, I want to start at like midnight now. Holy shit. shit. Rough. Whatever. Rough view. Hey, die refuel. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I just like that they're fleshing out the characters more in the remakes. So I like a lot more of. Oh, uh, zombies. Um. Like Barrett, I think, is a lot. I like his development with Marlene a lot more. Because actually, he's getting more time with Marlene. Even Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge. You know? Like getting to know those guys more as well. Like it's like it's cool to know more about the characters, right? That was one of my, that's my big gripe with the first. It's not characters don't get that much time to be a thing. So I'm like, an, oh my fucking Christ! Horde strategy. Often the best horde strategy is to run the fuck away. Oh Jesus! Ah! Oh, that's where I need to be, too. You fucks. Well, chat, that didn't work. Uh, if I just drive around them, though, right, they'll, they'll lose interest. They'll lose interest in me, right, chat? They won't know. Oh, there's more than this way. Ah, oh, there's gooey zombies everywhere. I don't know. Get on my bike and deal with this one. Sir! Oh, I got him. There's a lot of them here. I have it. I have it. Oh my go. god. I have a silencer on. Please reload. Please reload. Got him. Jesus Christ. Okay. The horde people I think have given up on me. Which is good. Um, hold on, chat. My only in the remake and the Bigs weird development was so damn good. Yeah, that's what I think. I like I like that they added, you know, they're, they're taking it at a slower pace, so you get to actually experience this shit. Again, the original is so rushed. I'm like, god damn it. That's why, I, look, that's one of my gripes. Are they coming for me? There's a lot of red in that map, chat. See the mini-map? A lot of red. Yeah, that's my big thing with... Oh, he's gonna see me, isn't he? That's not a, that's not a knife. 
Uh, where's my rock? Distraction. Get that way. I just don't want to, like, go too far from the bike and then realize the zombie hordes on me. Gooey boy, gooey boy. Does whatever a gooey boy does. Alright, see? Uh, there's literally a lavender right there, too, but I gotta kill this guy. There's one behind me too, isn't there? Oh, Jesus! Y'all made me want Final Fantasy VII, like, right now. I mean, I want it to. I want the part two, but I don't know when that's gonna be. All right, there's one Lavender chat. There's another one there. Should be careful of zombies. Uh, because there's a horde right there. I hear, like, I hear Lucy at the door. <laughs> I hear Lucy, Lucy at the door, chat. I'm just trying to run and go grab it. That's two, baby. Look at that cursed shit. Go back. Back to the bike. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Look, I think part two will probably come out next year sometime. I don't think it'll come out this year. I have no... But again, I have no fucking clue. I'm not, like... You know. I don't know. I'm not involved. <laughs> Guaranteed next gen only? Yeah, you think? I reckon so. A marauder what? camp. These oh, the marauder camp there? No, they can deal with themselves. They're the assholes who've been ambushing the roads. Yeah, they can deal with their own problem. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, right? Because they're doing a. They're doing the uh, part one gen five re like upgrade soon, right? And then they're gonna do the Yuffie DLC. But again, guys, I was not a fan of Yuffie in the original, but I'm willing to give her a second chance. Because again, let's think, I'm liking the characters a lot more in the remake because of the... Oh my good lord, look at them all. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Mistakes were made. Oh, now I'm dead. Ah, fuck! Oh, I'm very dead. Chat. I got cocky. And where is that going to put me? Good, put me right here. That's fine. Uh, what do we learn? Uh, watch out for zombies. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Actually, I could just ride on the. To be fair, I could just ride on the lake. That makes more sense. Um, yeah, I'm willing to give Yuffie a second chance. I don't like Yuffie in the original. That's just me. I know people like Yuffie. I don't like Yuffie. Yeah, murdering camp. camp. Got it. Let's ride around the. Let's ride around the lake this time. I gotta take them out. I want to see what they do with Red Thirteen as well. Oh, they're gonna be me dying, isn't it? Shit, shit, fuck. Yep, I'm dead. Probably just should die. Yep. Third time's the charm? Maybe. Maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me. What did we learn? Um, don't go that way. I just need to get past them. I don't want to deal with them. I just want to get past them. I could go that way, but then it's taking me to that marauder camp. I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that, chat. I'm actually super tired. My eyes are getting super sore too. I think it's just I'm. I think I'm straining my eyes, chat. I'm like, Ugh. yeah. Right, just, yo, I will get a mark on the map though. There we go. No mats. How long you been? Hey man, but love the five faces even chat. We'll be back for more. Thank you, Jerry, for the um the raid earlier too, my dude. Um, sorry, I'm a little like a little like I feel like all over the show at the moment. So appreciate you being here, dude. Have a great night. Sleep tight. Um, hopefully we'll, I'll catch you around, uh, either in your chat, or I'll probably back here, dude. But yes, I like talking Final Fantasy VII, or any Final Fantasy, really. So, um, appreciate it, my dude. Have a great night. Thank you again for the raid. And we'll, we'll see you around, dude. I'm gonna try and do this a lot better this time, and not, you know, die. This way can pass. Alright, I did it. It's not pass. Sneaky boys, chat. Sneaky fucking boys. Easy. GG. Alright, bro. Thank you, thank you, Jerry. Have a great night. I guess. Sorry, I'm feeling honestly pretty zonked. I feel like my eyes are getting like sore and sore, so I'm like, mm. I've been straining them all day driving. There's a lot of zombies here at night time. I don't like it. Stop it. I'm not gonna run that one over. I'm not. Yo, jeez, look how many zombies there are on this mountain. Please go away. I'm just trying to get back to Boozer, the loser. Oh God, look at them. Jesus. Right. They're right by our house, too, Boozer. How do you sleep with this shit outside your walls? Thank you. This would be like piss control or something, chat. 
We do some pace control in this place. I picked some lavender though. You'd be proud of me, Sierra, whatever her name is. Um, I would fuel up. Look at them. They're on. A, they're just on the other side of that fence. What if they broke through the fence when you're sleeping? I'm pretty sure a zombie would figure out how to get through that fence eventually. But they're pretty persistent, right? Like, look at this shit. They're literally like surrounding the camp that we're in right now. They're right outside these walls. You think they'd just like find? Look, I, oops, I just opened the gate. You think they'd find a way to slip in, right? Like, look, this does not look stable. There's a hole right there. Look at them all. Like, look at that shit, chat. Well, there's lots of them. Why are there so many of them? Watch them break through that right now and kill me. Look at them. Look how many there are. There's like, what, 20? It's like a zombie rave. Roasting his tail. I mean, look, there's a hole right there. They can stick the heat through the feet and get me. Look at them. Look at them. This does not look sturdy. I'm just saying, I would not feel confident if I was Deacon right now. If this is real life, I would not feel confident. I'd be fucking running the other direction. Look at them. That barbed wire, look, that'd, that'd be like World War Z zombies. Have you guys seen that shit? They'd use each other as ladders and then, like, as something to break that, like a blanket to cover the barbed wire and kill me. If this is World War Z, that'd be so screwy. Look at this shit. They're following me around, too. It's grim. Would they climb that rock and jump over? Climb the tree, jump over? I don't know. It's cursed. I would not feel safe. This is me right now. And I'm pretty much antagonizing them, but... Look at that shit. This does not look like a good setup. I'm just saying. I don't know, dudes. Look, if it was me, you wouldn't. I wouldn't be here. I need to repair my thing, right? I fucked it up. My board. My spiky board. Alright, Boozer, I got you lavender. What am I getting him lavender for? For his arm? Hey, Boozer. Uh, yeah, he's like one eye, one handed. Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender and uh, she Pussy. taught Pussy? I'm, I'm in touch with my emotions, Boozer. And, uh, Look, I got out today. Okay? I'm just in touch with Actually, my emotions, champ. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days. Okay, just right up north like you said and get out of this shit. It's like feverish, too. Look at him, like, sweating. Yeah. He's got a big upper body, though. I'm not gonna lie. Give me a couple days. All right. He's my brother, man. I need to go back to Copeland's camp and, like, upgrade my bike some more. Because I got a thing with him. I actually have no more things. But that's Copeland's camp right there, right? So I'm going to mark it. I'm going to go down there. And upgrade the bike. I think that's a good idea. Oh, the zombies are gone. Her fucking ray. Oh, God. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? We got hit. And hard. Rippers. A couple of dozen, maybe more. Goddamn rippers. That little gal you were so worried about? Yeah, Lisa. Wait, hold on. What happened? Where's Lisa? Uh-oh. They took her and three others. Alki followed him as far as he could. But they're holed up at Bell nope. Crater. He came back to round up more men, but... God damn it! Okay, look, I've seen what those sons of bitches do to hostages. I'm not waiting. New mission unlocked. What have they done? I was there. Uh-oh. Oh, they, they can wait. I'm not waiting, but they can wait. They got other shit to do. Booze, I literally just left. Damn it. Oh, Booze, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. You could have, like, given them to me before I left the camp. I literally just left Boozer, and he's like, yeah, bro, I, like... I got some shit for you now. I don't know. Guys, I want to upgrade my bike, though. Koopaland has stuff for my bike. That's why I'm going there. That's the only reason I dealt with him. is because he, he's like, yeah, dude, I'll upgrade your bike if we trust you enough. And I'm pretty sure that last mission we got to trust level two. So I'm okay with this. 
Open the gate! Wow, the drifter is rude as shit. I just got here. You've been doing so much for the camp. Cope asked me to find you some extra bike parts. All right. Engine. I have the best engines. I have the best exhaust. <gasps> Allows your bike to store ammo. Get out of town. How much is it? Eight hundred bucks. Easy. Best money I've ever spent. Using saddlebags for storage. Pay attention to how much ammo your saddlebags can hold. Blah blah blah. blah. Got it. That's a good piece. Fuel tank. Yes. Increase your bike's fuel capacity even more. Good choice, man. Good choice. A frame now. Can't get that one. John, I'm not going to get knocked, but I'll think about it. Increases traction. All right. And now I'm poor. So that's it. This should last you for a while. And now I'm poor, chat. So good. I'm going to refuel and repair. And now I have no money. And now I have no money. But look at my bike. Where's it gone? There it is. It looks exactly the same. But it does have a sweet saddlebag now, chat. Fancy, I know. Um, shit, dudes. Guys, I know it's a little early, um, but honestly, Roche the bike grows stronger. He, she does grow stronger. Look at that sick eagle uh, tattoo, too. Tattoo sticker. Look at that sweet eagle sticker, Zake. America. Um, Roach the bike is the strongest bike, although she could use NOS, but, you know, I'm, I'm cash poor right now, so we're not going to do that. Guys, what I was saying is, um, I know it's early, we've only done like two and a half hours, but I am actually, like, tired. I had a big old couple days. Um, so I'm thinking we might just, just, you know, wind it up there, if you will. Um, but that's okay with everyone. Rips, I know, I'm sorry. Um, I just got, I look, guys, I don't know if you can see my eyes. Uh, this sore shit. Um, I'm beat up. I'm beat up, chat. I'm an old man. Had a big old day. Can't, my body doesn't bounce back. I've eaten too much chocolate. Driven too long. My eyes hurt. Um, so I'm thinking we might actually wind that up for today, if that's okay with everyone. Actually, I'm right here if I can save. I'm going to quick save and then order a proper save. Um, but guys, I wanted to stream today because I missed you all. I miss you all very much so. Um, it been like what since third? No shit. Wednesday, man. It been five whole days since we last played this game, um, which is pretty cool. So I know it's a little bit early. Usually we go for like over three hours, but tonight I'm just guys honestly struggle street. I can just turn off the PC from here. That's, oh, there you go. Turn off the PC. Turn off the PS Five. There you go. It's off. I didn't know you could do that. That's a lot better than what I've been doing. Um, yeah. If that's okay with everyone, I think we're going to wind it up for tonight. Because I'm tired. Um, I need a rest. My eyes hurt a lot. Um, I'm just going to, yeah. I think we're going to call that a, a day, if that's okay with everyone. Um, Zake, Jen, if you're still here, will you guys be streaming tomorrow? You guys be chilling? But guys, thank you so much for the race. And I always should. I need to, like, jump into Twitch real quick and just see what the damage was. But... Thank you so much for all the raids and follows and subs and just being amazing, guys. Because I know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm broke. I'm broken. I'm a broken man um, tonight. So I appreciate all just the awesomeness. First up and first up and foremost, you guys are freaking amazing and awesome. So thank you all for that. Um, holy shit. Yeah. Guys. Um, holy shit. We will miss you, Kiwi. Yeah, I miss you too. Zach, will you be streaming tomorrow? By the way, I didn't know if I asked. Guys, thank you just again for the raids. Um, freaking hell. The, the follows, the subs earlier as well. Um, way too kind, dudes. Got something cool planned? Oh my god. Well, I look forward to seeing that, Zach. Um, I probably will stream tomorrow as well, just because I missed so much last week. So we'll probably do more games. We'll probably do more of this tomorrow as well. Maybe after the system, Zach plays and whatever he's got cool plans so guys if you're new here first of all thank you for being here um if you haven't already go check out my i can't spell holy fuck i'm that tired yeah i can't spell friends hey brand low is that how i say it i'm gonna get brand hey brand welcome sorry we're just finishing up my dude but welcome in welcome 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 how's your night going happy easter by the way guys if you new are new here uh first of all thank you for being here but also go check out my friends the stream there they're all amazing people um definitely Funnier and smarter, smartier, smarter -er than me. Danny, thank you so much as well. Hope you have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your Easter um, Monday. It's Monday, right? It is Monday. Jesus Christ. 
Sorry for not talking much, Danny. Don't worry about it, dude. Sorry, I feel like I was a little... I feel like I was a little flat tonight, chat. Just because... Apart from my amazing Cadbury story... <laughs> Uh, I'm just tired, uh, but I did want to stream tonight because, you know, uh, I miss you guys. And I didn't want to, like, you know, go another night without streaming. So, uh, thank you so much, chat, for, for being here and putting up with me, being an idiot. Uh, we'll probably will be back tomorrow night with more days gone because I miss you all. Um, so, yeah, we'll, I'll see you in Zake's chat hopefully tomorrow, dudes. Uh, and then hopefully we'll see you afterwards for days gone part 5 million here with me as well. Um, but Brand, thank you for being here. Sorry, we're just finishing, guys. We're gonna go raid UK. She's playing Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, she's amazing. So go. We're gonna go send some Kiwi love her way as well. Continue this raid train, raid, raid train, raid train going on. So that's a thing. Uh, but guys, enjoy the rest of your Easter. I uh, hope you have a safe and happy holidays. I guess. Um, we'll yeah, we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Um, days gone. Yes, Brand. We'll see. Hopefully see you tomorrow. For more days gone. But guys, I'm gonna put the thing up now so you don't see my ugly mug anymore uh and let's go send some kiwi love over to uk all right guys take care have a great day tomorrow and we'll see you back hopefully for more days gone bye everyone just um flapping kiwi how was your stream how are you my friend a massive love for, to flapping kiwi um they were playing days gone you were playing pokemon today what's going on um system they yo hello hello kyoga in here hello kyoga i love that but spot has a thing for pete like really has a thing for pete um it's going good it's going good guys i just started um even though we've been 29 minutes in we've actually 